Hello and welcome to the Now We Know show, the show where we discuss a topic of interest and by the end we will have learned something new and hopefully you will too. I'm Jack. I'm Buzz. And I'm Zach. And today we're going to be looking at beer. Ooh, More specifically, beer. tasting beer. Ooh. Tasting beer. Right. Um, but as we always do, let's ask the computer about beer. So, computer, what is beer? Here's something I found on the web. According to healthbenefitstimes.com, beer is an alcoholic beverage which is made from the brewing method that contains the starch fermentation which is the derivative of malted barley, maize, wheat and rice. There we go. There we are. Right. So what we've done is we've each brought in a selection of beers to try. Yeah. Spe specifically three. Yes. Three. Yeah. So that's nine in total. And we're going to taste them. And uh, you've got a... I've got a, I've got a list. A list of, of parameters we're ju judging the beers on. Yeah. We're not affiliated to any beer companies. Nope. We are just randomly... We're not sponsored. We're not I, don't sponsored. Even, I don't even drink beer. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, that's a good point. Okay, right. So, coming from my perspective, I'm the oldest. Okay, I'm the old boy. Now, when I was young, when I was your age, I was out on my motorbikes all the time. I was down the pubs drinking beer, 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 beer. I haven't really touched beer in years. Okay, uh, these days, if I drink at all, it might be the odd scotch, usually around Christmas, or the odd cider if I'm at an event. Mm -hmm. But I hardly drink. Yeah. But when it comes to the beers, I haven't touched a beer in years. Fair enough. I, I have the occasional beer now and again. I'm not a big kind of adventurous beer drinker, but I'll have a Carlsberg or something every uh, now and then. So, lager. Yes. Is that a beer? <laughs> Sorry, right. I'm a traditional old right. ale drinker. You might be disappointed with some of the choices we've made. Cider and ale. Okay. And, and I don't drink yeah, at Zach, all. Zach doesn't drink at all. I'm this completely is... new to this. I've never tried beer to my knowledge. You've Ever. never tried beer? No. No? Oh my lord. No, no, no. no. I didn't know. Hon this. Honestly, Zach doesn't drink anything. Oh, okay. I mean... Well, no, except I need water. Yeah. yeah <laughs> uh, uh, what, 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 what we need to say here, listeners, is that we're not as in... We don't drink because we don't drink. I don't drink alcohol. No, it's not a case of any of that. We drink, yeah. but we just don't drink in a big way. Yeah. And you just don't drink at choose all. to drink yeah. at all Fair because enough. you drive and everything else. So you just. I've don't never, it's never really appealed to me. Uh, again, <laughs> like, like me, you do like a scotch, a, a whiskey, a whiskey at festive season, rum occasionally. Yeah. But that's never... straight to the hard stuff. <laughs> but, anyway, but we've got a selection of beers. Yes. And something the listeners so far don't know. Is the Zatwell Production Sound Studio actually has got a name, hasn't it? The Dungeon. The Dungeon. It's, it's the Dungeon Sound Studio. So this evening we're turning it into the Dungeon Bar. Yes. Okay. Oh, so we're in the a, bar. Yes. It's very much a bar and, atmosphere. And, at the and, and in fact, we've removed we've, we've removed the uh, stools that we normally yes. sit on in the studio. We're all standing up. Yeah. Well, feels good. Whether we're standing by the end of this, I don't, <laughs> don't know. I'm scared. Uh, this wasn't my idea. It was exhilarating. We're, we're standing but, up in the but studio. But we're now standing up. We're in the Dungeon Bar. Yep. I hope, gentlemen, you've all been to the gents on your way in, ready for all, all consumption of all these fine beverages. There definitely will be a queue afterwards. And don't eat the bar snacks, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's my tip when going to the bar. leftover Japanese snacks from the, in, in the crevices <laughs> the of the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where, by the end, Jack, you actually will like the dried out fish snacks. Oh, I don't think anything's going to make me like those. Okay. Cool. Right. <laughs> okay, so we have got a selection of beers. Mm -hmm. Yes, specifically, we have three beers. That we've chosen each. Three beers each. Okay. And, and we're going to read yeah. out the 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 manufacturer. Should, the should I go through the yeah, categories? Go, go, go through the categories. Okay. So we first reveal the name of the beer. Yep. The brand of the beer. Yep. Any label info that it gives about the beer, mm -hmm. perhaps about its taste uh, or whatever it says. Uh, the alcohol content, and then we obviously pour them out. Divide them three ways. Divide them three ways. Then we go by smell, look, taste, and then we rate. Okay, so out of ten. In the words of Gary King from the World's End movie, is it nutty? Is it foamy? Is it hoppy? Does it have a surprisingly fruity note that lingers on the tongue? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect yes. way to start. Another movie that I was in. <laughs> <laughs> Jack suggests a bingo card. Yes. <laughs> Right. Okay. So where are we starting, boys? We're in the bar. We're standing in the bar. I'm, I'm not picking. Ready first. to rock. 
Okay. okay. I'll, I'll do the honours. Okay. Um, okay, over to you, Jack. You, uh, choose, you don't have to choose the ones you've brought. I would say don't choose the ones you've brought in. Yeah, yeah. Well, for, I've not tried any of the ones I've actually brought in. No, so I don't, neither have we. None of these are... I mean, Zach to obviously me. hasn't, because he doesn't. Yes. I'm so scared. <laughs> and I made sure I chose beers that I haven't tried before. Yes. Well, none of these are familiar to me at all. No, it's so too, too easy I've, for me to go for beers yeah. that I know. So anything I pick is going to be a surprise, really. Yeah, that's what I wanted. If I pick one of them, obviously either of you can tell me which one mm -hmm. okay. you picked. I will go for one. the Dark Star. Ooh, it looks like ooh. It's, uh, okay. Right, I've got to say this one. Uh, it was called Dark Star. Well, I think it's the brewery is Dark Star Brewery. Yes, Dark Star yeah. Brewery. Now I look at it. Yeah, it's a favourite sci-fi movie of mine. If you've if, if you've ever seen Dark yes, Star, yes, I have. Yes, yes. yes. So Beach Ball Alien. That's actually what drew, drew it to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's it. It just shouted at me on the shelf. <laughs> Dark Star. I've got to have that one. So anyway, over to you, Jack. Yes. Uh, so Dark Star Brewery Company. Uh, it says at the bottom, Hophead, which I assume is Hophead the... Hophead is the name of the beer, right? The name of the beer, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Hoppy Golden Ale. Uh, what volume is it? Uh, the alcohol volume is 3.8%. Oh, it's quite a low... Quite does a, it, quite does low it have any uh, little bit on the back? On the back. Uh, okay. Born underground in the cellar of a Brighton pub, Dark Star is a hobby that got out of control. Fueled by hops and limitless imagination, we escape the orbit of ordinary on our endless search for out-of-this-world beer. Ooh. What a way to start. Nice. Okay. Uh, full bodied and full flavoured, Hophead is our mothership. Hoppy and golden with a distinct floral aroma and mighty elderflower hit from the Cascade Hops, a stellar session beer. Ooh, stellar session What's beer. What's a hop? What's a hop? That's what you brew beer out of hops. Oh, I really. Uh, hops grow on a vine, like. Um, you're, you're for a beer novice. So it's like if you have a wine and you're using grapes of the vine, hops right. are similar. They grow on vines and you collect, you, you harvest the hops and then you put ferment the hops with the yeast. And See, you learn something new every day. Yeah, maybe we should... <laughs> yeah, I used to do home brewing. Again, I used to do that years ago. I've still got all the kit, but I don't do any home brewing. I haven't done for years. That's, right. what, that's what having children does. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so, Hophead right. by okay, Dark Star, so we have a very... I've got my glass. We have a very kind of galactic, kind of sci-fi looking really label. Green. Which, yeah, it's um, got some... It's got some, is really nice. got some There's, spacemen uh, on it. There are some spacemen. They appear to be on some, some stilts or something. Uh, but as a label... Some yeah, they're on kind of some kind of... Oh, yeah, they're all like painters and decorators mm. stilts. Oh, I see what they're doing. No, no, they're on stilts because they're collecting the gigantic hops. <laughs> yes, that's what I was about to say. Oh, right, at least they're, I can they're, put they're some They're massive. They're, see, this is it. They're massive hops. The hop sack yes. aren't as big as this in reality. You no. sure? <laughs> uh, they look like gigantic uh, iceberg lettuces that they are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yes, a star field at the top, kind of yeah. prominent star in the very middle. Very galactic theme. Uh, nice. Very kind of lime green label. It's a brown bottle. I've been in... We, we, actually, we're, we're being a bit... Un-English now because we've actually put the beers in the fridge. You know, we're oh, okay. not drinking room temperature right. beer because you can see the condensation on the bottle. Yeah, so we've got a red cap. And red cap. Would you like to do the honours? Well, no, no, you, you chose the beer. Yeah, you you chose it. it. Right, so this is not a twist cap. It is a proper old-fashioned proper old one. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. Taking the red cap off. Go on, you can do it. I really don't want to spill anything in here. There we are. There uh, so the cap is off. It's okay. adding to our collection of So we've got three glasses. Um, Hophead by you need to Dark Star. Separate this out so it's going in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I can smell it already. That's, that's it. enough. There is some more in there. No, 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 no we've got it. Going, the, we've what we've got to do, go. there are no spittoons. There are no spittoons, I'm sorry. So the beer has got to be divided up. It's got to go. Oh, okay, we're doing, three the whole, we're doing the whole thing. You've got no opportunity of tipping the beer out. How are we doing? Are we all about to say? I think you need some more, Jack. I have a. There you go. I should mention I have a very fancy glass, <laughs> right. which okay. we'll get to later. So you chose the beer. So uh, right. So what are our categories again? Uh, right. I'll get that out. Okay. It definitely smells. Yes, we've we've been hit by an aroma of yeah, beer. No. It, it, right. Pouring it out. All three glasses have got half inch of head on. Yeah, that, that's quite yep. a nice, yep. smooth, creamy looking head. So first up, smell. Mm, I'm not getting well, anything it, outstanding. Smells. It smells just like beer. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, <it's laughs> a, you know, it's not a repulsive. <laughs> you know, sometimes in the old pubs you used to go to the pub and the pub reeked of spilled yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah. Now this is a nice beer smell. It kind of smells a bit fruity. Yeah, I'd that is kind it. of a beery smell though. Yeah, yeah, is it? Just, just yeah. Color. Have we got color down? 
But yeah, look. Golden. Okay. Gold. So we've got very small bubbles coming up from that. Wasn't it's, that golden ale? Was that, was that what it is? It did mention the... gold on the bottle, didn't it? Whoop. You refer to the uh, bottle. Um, hoppy golden ale. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely a golden ale. I mean, I, if, 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 if you've poured this into a glass for me, I'd actually probably say you've just bought me a lager. Interesting, it says hoppy and golden with a distinct floral aroma. Is anyone getting floral aromas? Kind of, kind of mighty. It's, it's reminding me of Ribena for some reason. Right, so what you've what we've got here is a fruit shoot. Yeah, what we've got here <laughs> fruit shoot. That's, that's as alcoholic <laughs> yes, as it gets. I was going to say. Uh, so what we've got here is an ale, but honestly, it looks like a lager. Yeah, it's very very uh, gold, it's very light, gold. light gold. Yeah. Or if you didn't if you didn't get near it to smell it, you could even say, oh, it might be a pint. Of, uh, 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 well, no, it's not a pint, but uh, it might be a cider. Because it's got yes, that kind of cycle. That cold, that golden, right. yeah. So we've done that. What about the do we go for the taste next, do we? Uh look, yeah, we've done look. Taste taste. Time. All right, that's all go. God. Mmm, that's refreshing. Oh, oh that's nice, yeah. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Oh no, Zach, we've got so many to get through. <laughs> God, <It's... laughs> what is that? It's, it's smooth. <laughs> Who designed this? It's smooth. And then it's got like a bitter aftertaste. It's so dry. I'm not really getting much of an aftertaste. Um, My tongue hurts. Oh. Can you go drink it some? Ugh. <laughs> it goes down really easily, doesn't mm. it? No, it doesn't. Ah, oh. oh, it's the back of my throat. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, that, 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 that's a summer. That's a summer it's beer. It's got a burning sensation. It hasn't. Mm. Mm. That's a summer beer. How did you drink that already? It's only a third Yeah, of I could definitely, as a summer beer, yeah. Goes down very easily. I not... will. I will have to say, listeners, do apologise. <sighs> belching comes to happen at any time. We might be breathing in each other's. Now you need. To, you need to empty that glass. Is that, is that is that taste that kind of hoppy thing? Yeah, and that's hoppy. Yeah, hop. That that's when that's people that say hoppy. Yeah, yeah. Now, okay. don't quote me on this. Ales or true ales. Back in the day, because people used to drink uh, use in the especially like in in Europe. Um, we used to ferment lots of different beers. Yeah. So you had beers that were alcoholic, but you also had beers that were very low alcohol because they used to be a way of having uh, a sterilising water. Yeah. So you could have, you'd brew, brew ales and you'd have an ale that you'd actually take to work with you to work in the fields and yeah, do yeah. the plan. Yeah. You know, that drinking beers, yeah. ales, was just part of everyday life. Mm. Bitters, now... Listeners, you can put me right on this. I'm not Googling it. But bitters are, are like an ale that has had stuff added to it, which gives it a bitter taste. But yeah. in, in the old days, ales didn't last. Their shelf life wasn't that long. Yeah. So, But a bitter would last a lot longer. Yeah. Fair was, so anyway, somebody probably will comment and tell us more about well, yeah, that. Yeah, we want to know, don't we? We want to know. Is it, yeah. is it it's all about learning. Is it bad to say that it kind of tastes like straw? Straw. <laughs> I don't tend to eat straw very often. But... Well, I'm sure Zach has su at some point eaten straw. That's trouble with living in a country, isn't it, boy? Jumping yeah, so down hay bales, getting very, a mouthful it's a very of straw. Unique experience. Zach struggling to get that one down, but are we going to the rating now? Or right, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay. finish this. Okay, on the rating side, are we doing the usual one to ten? One being, I believe he said out being of ten, awful, yeah. and yeah. ten being yeah. classy. Uh, summertime beer. Um, I oh, know for me. I mean, it hasn't got like I, pleasant, so I'm not going to knock it. It's pleasant, quaffable. You know, I think a, a beer's got to be an ale's got to be quaffable. Hasn't knocked my socks off in the sense of gone. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, oh. nothing. It kind of feels yeah. a bit bland, to be honest. Well, you're definitely coming from the you don't drink. No, so this, this is, is your this is your like this is your introduction by, to beer. By, yeah. <laughs> induction so everything by from, fire. Everything's going to be a comparison to that one. Trial by fire. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm I'm going to say it's it's perfectly good. I'm going to give it a five. It's, it's mid mid range. Yeah, I'd, not knocking my socks off on yeah. the flavour, but it's not horrible. It, it, yeah, it's just a mid range, nice, refreshing beer. Yes. Five. If five is fair. Yeah. That's fine. I'd, I'd agree with you. I think I'd bump it up to a six, possibly, okay. um, because it wasn't What's repulsive. What's happening with him in the corner? I'm sorry, sorry, I'm just making it. I was trying not to burp. <laughs> Feel free, we've already warned the listeners. Bel not belching. My face, but yeah. <laughs> belching. It's a very small room. Yeah. Well, um, as long as it comes out of the mouth, that's fine. Okay. Anything else, it's going to get a little bit steamy in here. <laughs> yeah, so I gave it a six. Okay. Um, for similar reasons to you, 
Um, I probably would drink it again, but again, it's not. I mean, not, okay, if it came it's up, not got anything if, about if, uh, these, it. these are craft beers. We've gone for craft beers. I don't know if any of these beers are served on pump. Mm. It, 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 I don't know. But if that was at the bar and there was a choice, would that be a go to beer? Yeah, I think so. There's nothing repulsive about it. It's Or would it be a beer you go, okay, there's nothing that's really catching my fancy, so I'll go for that one. But it if just there was something I, else, I, I'd go for it. So yeah, I, I just kind of wanted something a bit more okay. unique about it. Mm. Have you, Zach? Because well, we need I, to move. I've, I've successfully finished it now. He has finished it. So that's yeah. good. Hey. Um, for me, it was kind of a bit... A bit bland. Bland and uh, it wasn't very straw -like. impressive. <laughs> straw -like. Bland and straw like. <laughs> yeah, bland and straw. Okay, so um, uh, I'm because I think any beer has <laughs> been described as a straw like. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm obviously not very experienced with beers at all, and that was probably my first. But you do eat hay. So. I do eat hay <laughs> uh, like a horse. Yes. Um, <laughs> he, likes, he likes to chew the gun. I am going to go for four. Okay, four. Yeah, okay, we're, we're kind of so all mid from a non beer drinker, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. I mean, your initial but I'd prefer <laughs> to drink something else. Your initial okay. reaction okay. says otherwise. Okay, okay, right. Now, what we need to also point out to the listeners is, is we had uh, six bottles and, six, to, um, and three right. cans. Yes, yeah. So, are we going to go bottle, bottle, can? We hope we started on a bottle, so is it going to be bottle, bottle, can, or is it going to be bottle, can, bottle? Or are we going to do the can, can? What can can bottle? So bottle can can. No, we can't do that. It's we're doing the can can. Oh, not, not on here. Not not enough room. So anyway, so we're we going for a bottle or a can. Should we note down that rating for future reference, or are we just going to move on? And um, we're just going to move on. We're just going to move okay. on. Okay, fair enough. So you chose. Uh, Jack chose the first one, but that was actually a beer you chose. Yes, that was you one bought. Of mine. Right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. So. Okay. So who who next? goes next? Me or you? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a ticket by his toe. If he screams, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, it's me. <laughs> there you go. Right. Well, I'm. I, I'm. I can't, yeah. All right. I'm going can. Okay. Ooh, first, can. first can of the day. We're going to go can, and I also because I'm an old boy. I've got I'll get, my reading glasses. I'll get, I'll get on. the list up again. Right. So this actually was brought in by whom? Uh, these were mine. The cans. Right. Okay. And the cans. This can is the brewery. Is Brew Dog. Right. Mm -hmm. And the actual beer is called Lost. I think, is it say something on the side as well? There's like a black label on the yeah. side. It says a Planet First Lager. Oh, it's a lager. Lost Lager, there we Lost go. Lost Lager, okay. I know absolutely nothing about these. So this is a lager, okay. <laughs> Any further information? Uh, Alcohol content? It's got a lot of Japanese on it. Uh, right, okay. The Lost for all right. Oh no, that's not. It's <laughs> a lot of information. On this yeah, there's <laughs> loads of different things, but some of it is about plot being ecological. It's a very being safe. Not don't drink too much. It's a very the grey right, Lost is can. Lost is the world's first carbon negative beer. Ooh, okay. we are saving the planet. Yeah, just in this it little says, studio. <laughs> drink beer made at our carbon negative brewery using one third less water, powered by wind turbines. Plant trees. The lost forest in the Scottish Highlands is our big reforestation plan to help create a carbon clean planet. There we go. So they've obviously got their eco hats on with this one. The all right, it says, yeah, all right, it's writing here. It says, is. it says, United we stand for better beer, fiercely defiant and independent. I'm just trying to find a. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's a 4.5% volume. So this is okay. more alcoholic than the first one. Yeah. Yes. It's in a silver and white can with a gold logo Big for them for Lost. Is that an image behind the Lost? I can't quite make, make that out. Uh, it seems to have a kind of a little... Is that a dancing dog on the top? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's like some kind of a... I mean, brew dog would imply it's a dog. Yeah, it's thing. a dog, brew dog. It's obviously a dog. Uh, but I don't know if that's a map or something behind Fair it. enough. So this is okay. eco-friendly beer. Okay, let's open it up. This is a can. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds like a can. It's frothy. It's, it's frothy. Right, here we go. That's so, very frothy. We've got a... <laughs> Listeners, if you need to go okay. to the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. It's kind of... That's a very light... That's a lot lighter, isn't it? Yeah, it's more yellow. Oh. Three... Hydrated wee wee colour. That's <laughs> <laughs> <You had laughs> <to, you> <laughs> colour for some point. You had to say it, didn't you? <laughs> right, that's, uh, I think we squeezed about what we can get out of the can. Right, let's let it settle down. Well, now that. I heard there was a test of how much alcohol was inside by if you swirl it round. 
how much actually gets stuck to the side of your glass is well, how, how much head yes well the it might not be visible but okay you'll see a, a kind of yeah but how do you rate it i don't know I just had it. <laughs> <laughs> you just had a swirl of it like, oh i don't like, like the smell you don't no right here you go there smell oh that's a very it feels <laughs> stronger it's very urine mm. smell <laughs> dehydrated yeah smells like smells like the promenade at uh at Hun Stanton. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I'd say, I'd say Saturday it's... night, Hun Stanton. Uh, yeah, I'm not impressed so far. It okay. Was, as we mentioned, a very light gold. Instead it, of, yeah, so, yeah. so the other one was very, very gold. This one is as a... Light yellow gold. A lot more yeah. transparent. This one, if, if it was pee, you'd be well hydrated on this one. Well, I don't know about... Yeah, moderately <laughs> hydrated. Moderately hydrated. <laughs> uh, and very, very few bubbles. It smells stronger. Yeah, yeah the other is one was it... bubblier. So okay. let's go for the taste now. Is that everything we've... Uh... Uh, yeah, we've done the look, we've done the smell. Oh, no. Taste it. Is that not a nice one? I'm going to go in. No, no, no. Oh, there's nothing to that. No. It's very flat. It's flat. Uh... It's, it's almost like a can that's been opened too long. Yeah. yeah there's not much fizz at all, is there? If it, it's, if it kind of tastes like it's been left in the sun for too long. No. Oh, I don't like... No, no, I'm not a fan of that. Mm. No, that that's almost like is that a beer, even? Yeah. No, no. Okay, so no, not a fan of that. Buzz, Buzz's rating. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a beer. It's, it's very nothing to it. It's not foul, so it'd be unfair to mm. give it a one. But it's not bocking me in the slight. I'll give it a three. I was going to say a two. Right, it's, so, it's, yeah. There's nothing to it. It's very. It's just insipid. Light. Isn't it? There's not very much fizz at all. Not, not even sure flavour. Yeah. It can't be down to the can being open because we've no. actually just opened the can, so the fizziness can't have got nothing. And, and it hasn't it been left in the yeah. We've had all these in the fridge. Yeah, uh, all yeah. Chilled. Very disappointed that one. I mm. yeah. I think I preferred the first one. Yeah. So the brew dog so far has uh, received the lowest score. But by Ooh. drinking this beer, we are having a positive impact on the planet. Oh, so there we are. Not my bladder. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay. Right. Well. Mm. Lager like it should be. Brewdog, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to disagree with you. Okay, sorry, I'd, Brewdog. I, again, I think I'd prefer to drink something else. I'd much prefer, obviously, the previous beer. Okay. Right, okay, Zach. That so one was you. very... There's nothing nothing to it. Right, so here we are. It's live. It's livening up in the dungeon <laughs> bar that Jack's leaning on the bar. I, I'm going to say a three. So you're matching me on that. One, three. two. Yeah, no, we've had a... Did you say? I said three. Okay, two, three, two. You said two. Oh, oh, no, there's two threes and a two. <laughs> it's only the second beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's not going well. Okay, so average two point okay. seven five. <laughs> okay. okay. Right, you got to choose one then. All no, right, I'm gonna choose one. So I'd I'd suggest you go bottle. I'm gonna go for a bottle. Yeah, we'll leave the cans. <laughs> till okay, last. so we had one for Jack, one for Buzz. I'm gonna go for. Here we go. This one. Interesting. Right, what have we got here? Uh, it's got prominent. a really nice. It's, it's, right. This has got a nice condensation. Brown bottle. We have... prominent red and yellow leaves. Okay, it is called the legendary Tanglefoot. Tanglefoot. Mm. <laughs> Traditional golden ale. It's another golden ale. Funnily enough, uh, the brand is Badger. Okay, is that the brewery? Dorset is it? Brewers. Yeah. Badger Dorset. Okay. Alcohol content. Five percent. Oh, we're going up in the scale every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> uh, right, and let's see if it's got any. Oh, it's got a lot of writing. Okay. That. Okay. Our family has always kept its feet on the ground. Well, except for the night that gave name to our legendary golden ale. On that evening, years ago, we gathered at Blandford. <laughs> um, Bodes well. It's hard to read after drinking this stuff. Uh, to sample... Head brewer John Woodhouse's latest wonder, so rounded and fruity it was, that a proper old knees up ensued, and the legend of Tanglefoot was born. Hey! Mm. And a cheer went out. Uh, hey! <laughs> it's got harder to read writing next. Oh god! Oh, it's italic. <laughs> um, and sideways. Um, a deceptively drinkable golden ale. Deceptively drinkable. <laughs> so it's drinkable deceptively. <laughs> You don't the, know you're drinking you it. You don't know you're drinking it. The finest barley, golding, gold, goldings, and challenger hops. Right. Deliver... So barley and hops. Deliver balanced, 
flavours of crispy malt and subtle hop with a delicate pear drop aroma. Pear drops? Ooh, that'd be oh, nice. that'd be, inter I'm it'd be interesting the... to see if we can taste yes. this. I'm going to look out for the pear drop taste now. Do, like I, do I get to open this? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. It's another, it's another capped bottle. Oh, yes. Oh, the cap has hit the floor. Ooh, it's kind of got smoke coming out the top. That's, okay. That's good. Okay, okay. so, so we'll let's grab our glasses. The, let's charge our glasses. Charge our glasses, gentlemen. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of steam coming from it. Kind of more bronzy oh, looking. Okay. Well, we've got to let the head settle. Mm. So this is probably the largest bottle we've had so far, isn't it? Yeah, it's been... <laughs> we're, we're getting into half pints now. That's it. And more alcoholic. Right, okay. <laughs> right, that's that's it. about it for the, for the bottle. Okay, so now this one has poured out with a very foamy head. Yeah. That, the, the other ones had head, but they dropped in the last Blimey. one. The last one's head disappeared. But this, this one is... Uh, that's holding its head that's, well. That is frothy. Yes. Okay. It's interesting we've got kind of, I should mention, I have a slightly different glass to everyone else. Oh, yes. So we're kind of seeing it in two different... Well, your glass is more of a... A, a, a posh one. Yeah. Beer wine glass. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> cross. See, we've got your traditional straight beer glasses. We've got pint glasses. Yeah, pint. From, from, pint. A, from a pub. From a pub. So in terms of smell... Yes, my cousin used to run a pub, and then when she sold it, well, we ended up with... A ton of glasses. Tons, tons of pint glasses. So if you're drinking anything in our house... Pint glass. In terms of smell, I'm not getting anything major. It just smells the same <laughs> as the previous one. It's a little bit stronger than the previous. Well, uh, again, I think that's back to the to the what you'd imagine beer smelling like when you walk into a bar, yeah, into a pub. Yeah. Very classic. It is notably frothy than well, the the, other the two. colour is between the last two. Up. Yeah. It's not as insipid as that's the. A, the I think last that, one. that's a good colour for a beer. I think it's kind of almost bronzy ish. Mm. And this was, was this another ale, or was it? Uh, it was a golden ale. I shall. Look. I just want to check. Uh, traditional golden ale. Right. Okay. So yeah, that's. I'm interested to so see. So far, I've been kind of wanting to see if we get a nice brown I beer. Wanna, I want to see what this pear. Gold. Yeah, I'm interested okay. in the pear drops. So it's meant to have pear, is it? Pear drop taste. Okay, go for the taste. Not getting that from the smell, but we'll see from the taste. It's very smooth. That is different. That yeah, is. Well, that's very different. Yeah. It's very smooth. Oh, I'm not. Oh. No. There's an aftertaste of that. No, I, I, I haven't got... The first one had a very bitter, and you mentioned dry aftertaste. I think... That's actually... Okay. Again, it's not got a distinctively strong flavour. No. Very it's, it's hard to find a flavour. Yeah. It feels more like the same. <laughs> Definitely not any pear, pear. I'm not getting any pear. Um, in terms of aftertaste, well, I, I, I'm not a big I, I'm used, I've been a cider drinker on occasions... <clears throat> It's obviously apple, but you do get pear cider, pear, eh? um, which they like to call fruit mm. ciders these days, but I'm, I'm definitely not finding a pear in there. Uh, am I right to say that it kind of tastes a bit stickier? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of tastes stickier. Well, no, no honestly, of... it is a thing, because you go into a good old pub, and the carpets are always sticky. You walk on the old carpets, and yeah. so as I peel your feet off. As I said earlier, if what you What is were, this swirling jack? So when it goes down the glass... He's a connoisseur. Yep. The thicker it, the thicker the alcohol content, the, the longer... The thicker the alcohol content. Or the, the, the more... The greater the alcohol yes. content, the thicker the... The thicker the consistency, so it will kind of take longer to... He's going to be hearing it next. Yeah. <laughs> it'll take longer to get down. If anybody's that. listening to this, if you can you can clear that one up for us, maybe in the comments, do you... Yeah, I think it, it might just is be... Is it something to do whiskey. with the head, if you swirl the head? Uh, well, the head certainly hasn't disappeared. Oh, I don't like that at all. There's just nothing... It's... It goes. It, it's. Oh, uh, this it's would. Not even this much would. Flavor. This would be a. This would be an ale that if you were going to let a kid try some beer, because you know you're a barbecue, mm. and then the kids going, oh, let me. Can I try some beer, Dad? Can I, I try I've some never beer? No, you that. haven't. No, you haven't. You always ran away. Um, <laughs> then, then this one. You could probably no. Actually, this would be the wrong one to give them because it isn't repulsive enough for them to stay. I'm never drinking beer again. And it's the highest alcohol content. <laughs> I t okay, let's look at it from that perspective. I, usually, I would equate a mm. higher alcohol content with a stronger flavour. Yeah. A thicker. Flavour, mm. and this one hasn't got it. Yeah, so I'm not getting it. With a higher alcohol content, this one is kind of is masked in that it is, it's just really quaffable, and it's you can just drink it like, like. It's drinkable. It's. I don't think it's as. 
It's hard um, to drink. Off-putting as the previous uh, brew dog lost, but I think it is... I, I can't it's got a sticky... My... It's definitely a sticky head. You mentioned right. the word sticky, didn't you? <laughs> sticky. No one wants a sticky head. Maybe uh, maybe it's got a sh- higher sugar content in it or something. Mm. It lingers. Mm. It lingers I'm not, on the I, tongue. Uh, um, yes. Yeah. But not a not a nutty. Uh, I want some one of these to, to really stand out. I think I know Ooh. looking down, I know which one might do that. <laughs> what we've chosen so far, okay. they, they kind of blended almost together. That not, none of them have really no, nothing's been wow. st- completely different. No. Right, well, well it's my that, choice, isn't it? Uh, apparent in our, our highest yeah. rating is only, oh, yeah, has, has only gunning, actually yeah. been a five, five or a six. Yeah. Uh, again, I'm going for three. It's not It's not any better or any worse than the last one, than the brew dog. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I preferred that slightly more than the brew dog. Yeah, you went three last time, so what, you're going I'm going four. for a four. Right. Four, same as the first one. Well, I gave the last one a two. And I think I'll give this one a three. It's slightly better. Okay, so this one is but just... But it's no major improvement, and I probably it's... would equally not okay. kind of revisit it. I prefer a Diet Coke, to be honest. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, it's just not... I, I kind of wish there was a more prominent right. air yeah. taste. Yeah, that. Okay. yeah okay, okay, kind okay. Of, they kind of let down. So we've had three bit. beers, and yet we've not yet had one which is... Uh, Standard. Blown, uh, blown us away and really... Blown us away. But it's my so choice, was, yeah. The first one what has been my favourite so far, the Dark Star. Um, Dark Star, yeah. Head is yeah. probably my favourite so okay. far. Right, so uh, I am correct in suggesting uh, that it's my turn to go to the bar. It's Jack's. Is it Jack's? I think it's Jack's because we've had three. He I chose. Started. You chose. Then I chose. Then it's, it's back to again. Jack. Okay, then Jack. You're already getting delusional. Okie dokie. <laughs> um, I'm looking down uh, at the impromptu. We 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 want something different. Come something. On. Yes. So want striking. We want something to blow us away and have something to talk about. I'm looking down at the temporary bar that we have in the yes. studio. Come on, barman. And in the dungeon bar. What's standing out to me most is this bottle here. Ooh. Right. Well, it's got okay. an eagle um, on the top, hasn't it? Which has a prominently kind of brown and blue kind of polka dot label. I remember getting this one. Oh, it's a Zach one. Oh, this is a Zach one. Okay. Oh, Same be... with the tangle foot. That was me as um, well. Right. So black cap on the top. Um, brown bottle. So it's another beer brown bottle. Brown bottle, yes. Uh, eagle Brewery. And a really nice kind of logo of an eagle there. Um, sticky toffee pudding beer. Right. Well, if you <laughs> if you wanted something that's hopefully going to be a taste taste difference, this yes. has got to oh, be it. I remember choosing this one. Now, I'm really hoping this blows us away. Sticky to toffee pudding beer. Because no, none of us have shared what we brought into the studio today. No. So this is, this is yes. news to me. <laughs> Uh, we appear to have a cartoon of a pint glass on the front, seeping with chocolate. <laughs> it's seeping with chocolate. <laughs> oh, no. uh, it's was it surrounded, toffee? Surrounded sure it's by, toffee, a, by it? a, uh, a puddle of brown toffee. brown stuff. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, God. This is very much part of the kind of novelty beer. Would you agree? This is kind of well, a it, one-off. You wouldn't get yeah. this. You wouldn't get this in a pub. So this is a, well. I think that we, uh, we did go separately to the craft beer section. It, mm. it, so I would call this a craft beer. If Fair you're going to say yeah. craft beers are special beers that you're not going to get off the pump, yeah, then this is definitely going to be one of those. Uh, I'll have a look at the back. Sticky toffee um, pudding. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to taste. Sticky yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. What does uh, sticky toffee pudding taste like? Sweet and sticky, <laughs> fruit and toffee scents, followed by smooth Ooh, smell as well. Spongy, malty flavours, all delivered with a satisfying twist. There we are. Oh, I want to know what this twist is. Uh, the <laughs> alcohol content is five point uh, five percent. Yes, five. Uh, which okay. is matching our previous beer. Okay. Um, in terms of information, it doesn't give us much else. It does say ale, crystal, and chocolate malts. <laughs> Okay, so this and is... the hops are Fuggles and Goldings. What the hell's a Fuggle? Fuggle is a t- is a type of hop. There we are. Um, right. what, Chocolate so, malts is interesting. So what is it? This is this is actually down as a it's a beer. So it hasn't actually said it's an ale or anything. It's just a beer. It just says beer. Yeah, beer. So. Um, very much a. Would you is this kind of, of like is this, kind of... is this an alco pop for beer drinkers? Yes. Yeah, would you re- would you uh, would you agree? It's kind of a. Let's have a looky. A retro kind of fifties style. Yeah. Does it, the, right, somebody's beer. taken a bite out of the glass. Yeah. There is also yes, a yeah, bite. they've taken they've taken a bite <laughs> out of the side. It obviously it's saying it's such so sticky toffee pudding flavour. I want to eat the glass. You'll eat the yeah. glass. Hopefully I, we won't be eating the glass. Yeah, uh, I will right, be, get my glasses. Popping, okay, let's open this up. Wait, popping the. Oh, it's got a nice little satisfying. Come on. Hoping the smell kind of pervades through the studio. Straight away. Um, right, mm. gentlemen, to the bar. Ooh. Charge your glasses. 
Oh, that's a different. That is a very, color. very brown. Ooh, yes, very brown. The, the head is brown. And I'm getting a chocolate smell already. Yeah, but is it meant to be chocolate? It's meant to be sticky toffee. toffee. That's toffee. That smells toffee like. Okay, okay, don't overdo it's more. Fine. That's okay. I want you guys to. <laughs> that has a lot of. Was it, was it called head? head? Yeah, yeah, go on, you finish that off, Jack. Finish it off. Go on, I'm a gentleman. Okay. It's going to be... Now, look at the colour on that. Yes, that, is that what, is. That's what, that's what I was wanting. <laughs> Something you can hardly see through. You can't see through that. It no. is so dark. It is very it dark. Is, it is as, almost as dark as my soul. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that. Right, let's I go like, for the smell. I like the smell. Um, oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah you can very, really smell the toffee. Yeah. That's bizarre. Yeah. Very toffee, but also it's still beery. quite beery. Yes. <laughs> toffee and beer. The beer, is, beer. The beer is punching through. But, I'm going to... That, that is... And okay, this this is not what I would normally choose to drink because <laughs> I think it's a bit of a gimmick. But yeah, yeah. If we're going, if, we're going by if smell, I was having a dessert, oh yeah, yeah, this is like this is like <laughs> a drinking, drinking a dessert. dessert. <laughs> Maybe that's why they got a bite out of the glass. Oh, I just mm. want to smell it. This is yeah, really I don't, nice I don't want to. Right, <laughs> it's, 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 let's go for like the, the toffee. Let's go for the taste way. then. Is it gonna? Is it gonna? Very. Is yeah, it gonna come? Very brown. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, that is definitely toffee. It's like the after, it's like you've taken a bite of <sighs> sticky toffee pudding. Yeah. You've and waited three minutes and there's a there's a lingering aftertaste. Of ashtray. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, there's a bit of a bit of a dry ashtray in there. I think you're I think because your brain expects I'm sticky expecting toffee beer. pudding. Well I'm expecting beer. Yeah, but, but once it hits you, the taste of sticky I'm smelling, toffee pudding. I am smelling you're expect- sticky toffee <clears throat> pudding in a very beery pub. Yeah, so your brain is expecting the to carry on with the sticky toffee pudding flavour, mm. but it kind of disappears very quickly. First hit over the over the tongue Ugh. is toffee. In, don't take this in big amounts. No, nah, no, nah, it's going to. Do you ever have that really dark toffee? Yeah, yeah, that kind of really dark toffee. Not not the, not the creamy <clears throat> toffee. Mm. Hard dark toffee. You but mentioned you, the, you used to get oh, toffee. Ha- oh, you're too young. You used to get toffee in trays. You had a toffee hammer. It came with a little hammer. Right. So you could break the toffee and eat the toffee. It was very brittle and very dark. For anybody out there that understands what the hell I'm blabbering on about, because these two guys are looking at me <laughs> as, as if I'm mad. You try to process the flavour. Then uh, yeah, it's that kind of toffee flavour, opposed to having your Cornish cream toffee. To me, it kind of feels like it's to- toffee that's been left in the microwave too long. Why would you put toffee in a microwave? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I, I, going back to what you said about... <clears throat> Going back to what you said about the ashtray, kind of burn, a burny taste. Yeah, it's, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's got it? a smoky. Yeah, but it's not like a smoky from an open fire smoky. No. It's smoky from an ashtray. Yeah. It's like drinking a pub. <laughs> an old fashioned. You know, pub. like the drip trays that all the beer goes oh, into. No. It's, oh. like, it's like emptying a drip tray and drinking that. There you go. <laughs> that's recycling. That is. <laughs> we saved the oh, planet. I'm sorry, Sticky Toffee. But who's the? It's Eagle Brewery. Eagle. Sorry, Eagle Brewery. I mean, the smell, think, they got the smell right. I think, for yeah, the smell's right. It's fine to look at and smell. I but think, if I you think s- for, if a novel, for a novelty beer, mm. just to have one novel, for a novelty yeah, I don't know, this wouldn't be a go-to I couldn't beer. drink a whole bottle. Oh, no, don't drink it in large but if you amounts. smell it again, if, before you finish all of it, if you smell it again, you, you get more of the toffee. It's yeah. a dark toffee. Okay, yeah. I've got to be honest but with you. there's not much in the taste. Eagle Brewery, this is a dark, brittle... Hit it with a hammer, <laughs> toffee. It's a dark moment in our lives. Yeah, I, I really this, don't. I, I was looking for a it was sticky toffee pudding. I associate with a creamy, Would you, sugary yeah. toffee. Would you agree if I said it could be thicker? Mm. If it was thicker, it kind of it would linger a bit longer. I really don't think these two things should have been put together. No, of course. <laughs> but you did ask for a big taste difference. True. Yeah, we've got, true. We, we've got our most interesting taste of, mm. of, yeah, of, of, of the episode. Of what we have tasted, this is the one that's sticking out to I'll, me I'll, most. I was going to say, all, all us gents have beards and moustaches. Uh, so far, the, we should have maybe oh. added an extra. Mine's quite if well it, if trimmed, it catches though. you on your moustache, if the head catches you on the moustache, you know, like you drink, you drink Guinness and mm. you catch it and you go, yeah, and you have that after <laughs> lick. You have the after lick. I was expecting that after lick off my tash. Mm. Yeah, your tash soaks up that that head and then you yeah. lick it. It's not doing it. This seems to me to be the most... Is there such a thing as an after lick? I don't to know. Sta- <laughs> it stands out the most of what we've drunk so far. But 
I don't really like it. <laughs> I, I am going to say, I'm going to say, it sounds like I've been, I, I've been giving this a hard, hard a so for, a novel, to for a novelty beer. Yeah, it's not an enjoyable drink. For a novelty beer, for me, compared to the last two we had, <laughs> <laughs> that's the first good belch coming oh, out of it. It's four beers worth of belch. For a novelty beer, uh, I actually prefer it to the last two that we had, which were a bit insipid. At least this had some kind of... Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm the only one who hasn't bucked yet. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. It's, it's well, all part of the... Is this, uh, this going to be a, like a competition now? No. Um, it, it, I'm going to give it a four. If we're I, going, gave, I gave the last one a three. I'm going to give this one a four. If you smell the glass after you've finished, and there's still kind of that aroma of sticky toffee pudding, that there is that kind of potential there. And if we're looking for something that's different... Then it definitely does that, but it's just the, the taste. Uh, it's the most it, stand out, <clears throat> but it's the most hard to drink. <laughs> the taste just kind of lets it down, I believe. Okay. And it's very thick. If you take the last kind of remnants. Yep. I mean, it's sticking to it's the very, glass. Very sticky. Isn't yeah, it? sticking to the glass. You don't. You don't want that on. If you're if you're a pub landlord, you don't want that on your carpets. No. <laughs> Stay. You, you ain't gonna get it out. <sighs> That's sticking around for a while. Yeah. This is gonna get you, your beer mats are gonna be stuck to the bar. <laughs> Okay, we, we're beer map free here at the moment in, in the dungeon bar. It did say on the actual bottle. Mm -hmm. Oh, tink. Oh, nice it did tink. say um, and chocolate malts. No, so I, I, did, I, I didn't get chocolate. I didn't get so chocolate. Did I, only, get I, only, chocolate. I only had the dark toffee. Yeah, there was a toffee smell and a slight taste, but the rest was. Yeah, I, there's a there's a very slight chocolatey smell, but other than that, it's okay. Well, I've given it a rating, gents. So I gave it a rating of four. Mm. So there's one, one more than the other two. The other two, I, I'm sure I gave both of them three. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. But, but this one, this one, although I sound like I didn't like it, I'm giving it four. Right. Okay, it was, it, for a novelty beer, if you want to yeah. try it, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, if you want a novelty beer, try it. And there might be other sticky toffee puddings out there. Give it a go. <laughs> there might be other sticky toffee puddings out there. Yeah, beer. Oh, I see. Yeah, brewery. <laughs> Just any sticky toffee pudding. <laughs> no, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why people take a bite out of the glass. I think I would have preferred it if it actually was a sticky if toffee If it was pudding. an edible glass came with it, that would be good. Yeah. yeah. Come on, what's your... I kind of don't want to give it the same rating as the other ones that we've rated. Come on, you're the non-beer uh, drinker. No, the... You obviously chose, kind of you chose this in the hope that it would be... <laughs> yeah, it, it did would... stand out from the other ones. And I'm gonna rate it based on on that novelty. So I'm gonna go four point five. Okay. Oh, you got. Oh, a point we're, we're going to decimals. <laughs> <laughs> Game changer. Game changer. I now. can't give it a five. I didn't know we could give it a point. <laughs> I, well, this is a new invention, new introduction. I don't know. Is the, the beer's getting to him? I I can't <laughs> give it a five. His rosy cheeks. <laughs> I can't give it a five. So four point five. Four point five. Four point five. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So this one is now. It depends. Second, second. I, I see what you mean, Zach, because it depends on whether you go for the fact it's kind of a novelty and it's a bit of fun to drink, mm. or as an actual drink. Because as an actual drink, it's probably like a one. For yeah. Me. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be exactly. Yeah. Another. Oh, but as the novelty, I think as a novelty, I think I'm, I think I'm going to go for a four. Okay, so this one has actually come in what second at the moment? It's yeah, yeah. yeah. It kind of depends what we. I don't, what we're I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, far we haven't. Got above five or six. No, no, um, no nothing is wrong. And Dark Star is the top of that. So, whether or not we just don't like beer or <laughs> something's going to blow us away. Yeah. Well, look, I want way. something. To we're it. going back to the bar. Barman. Okay, what we got? We got, um, oh, we got, uh, shifting these bottles. Take out the empties. Um, right, we got three bottles and it looks like two cans left. So, um, it's my choice. Yeah. So, I'm going to even the score and it says two cans, three bottles. So if I'm going for a bottle and Ooh. There we go. We go for a bottle, and then we've got two cans, two bottles to go. We've just chosen all three of mine. Have we? <laughs> in a row. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> right, let's have a look at this one. Right, next one. What have we got? So this is an Adnams of Southwold, and this is Ghost Ship. Oh, nautical theme. It's nautical theme. It's Never hauntingly been. good beer. Ooh. Very prominently blue, kind of oceanic. Yeah, ocean. it's, got, it's got a ghost ship on the front of it. That's something out it. of parts of the Caribbean. Uh, the, sea, the seagulls aren't scared because they seem to be following the ship. <laughs> it's got a citrus. It's called a citrus pale ale. Have we had a pale ale? No, we've so had ales, but we haven't had a pale ale. So citrusy, that could be lemon, lemony, orangey, orangey. lime. So lime. It, I'm expecting to have a little bit of a... A, 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 a bit of zest. Zest. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's yeah. the word, zest. Zest. 
Let's hope it doesn't taste like seawater. <laughs> hey, seawater. Yeah, yeah, they just scooped it up. Yeah, like, yeah, like in the fog. Oh, <laughs> that was the, that was a really good. the seawater coming from? Have you seen the fog, Jack? Yes, a yeah. long time ago. Okay, it says bold citrus flavours. Did it just get cold? From the citra hops. Right. So the hops are called <laughs> citra hops. Okay. Right. And it's they're meant to have a citrusy flavour. It's a four point five percent. Okay. We've, we've, we've lowered, gone down. We've, we've lowered down. The, the alcohol content. Okay. But now let's have a, see if it's got anything written on the back. Still okay. Are you ready for this, gentlemen? In my um, yes. Okay. So, inspired by the tale of old smuggling ships along the Suffolk coast, this hauntingly good pale ale is full of citrus and biscuit aromas Ooh. with a. Sp- Spookily hoppy bite. A yes. spookily hoppy bite. That's the bite. best description so far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting right. to get spooked okay. by this beer. This is good. Right, so we got a brown bottle, the ghostly blue ship on the front of the Ghost bottle. Ghost ship. Ghost ship. Let's go for it. Right, here we go. Oh. Yeah, right, the bottle is open. That sounded positive. Okay. <laughs> Are we going to get spooked by this beer? There's a lot of remnants of There's other beer. The, 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 it's interesting because there was kind of like a mist coming out of other ones, but this one, it's not so much. I think that's because we just opened the studio door. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Get, a, get a whiff of that straight away. Get a whiff of it straight away. Oh, I will when I'm finished pouring. <laughs> yeah. on, I've, got the, I've, be... got the, I've got the job of the pourer. Ooh, yeah. get a whiff. I'm, I'm, I'm smelling it Ooh. from here. I'll just hit the pop guard there. Oh dear. Get right. a whiff of that. Okay, here we come. Here's, that is lovely. Wow. That is a, a really what do you call light. this? The huff test. The huff report. <laughs> the huff report. Okay. That is okay. a really... Oh God! That's a very citrusy kind of orange. I don't know. Almost. I don't know. Do you know what? It smells like Teddy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does, yeah, yeah, it? yeah, Teddy. Oh no! It does. It smells like Teddy. You've entirely ruined this for me Sorry. now. I don't I was... get the reference. T- t- well, we've got a ginger cat. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Who's deaf? All right. Fun. He's called Teddy. And this smells he's... like him. No, he's... <laughs> no get to that. he's called Teddy because <laughs> of Mr. Bean's teddy bear. Okay. Hello, Teddy. Right. And uh, but obviously Teddy can't hear that his name is Teddy because he's just a stuffed Teddy. Oh, and our cat is called Teddy. Okay. But he has an annoying habit of marking his territory every so often <laughs> with urination. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> and see where we're going with this. That citrusy smell. <laughs> smells like that. <laughs> smells like Teddy. Oh, I wish I hadn't asked. I. I. Is, is I thought, Teddy has just oh. marked his marked his territory at the back door. Initially, it's a very brown kind of. Oh, actually, and, I haven't looked at the colour. Yeah. Initially, I was thinking, yeah, that smelled that smelled that smelled good. But then you brought that up. <laughs> Sorry. You 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 made that connection in my mind, I've and you've completely me. kind of. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, so what's I in cap? What, what's in cap? Is it ammonia? I don't know. That is, yeah, ammonia. Yeah. yeah. Mm, it's got kind cappy. of <laughs> right. Okay, I'm just but the, the, the color is right because okay, so the head on this is dropping away. Yeah, you know, the head dropped away on your your glass, Jack. Yeah, um, it's certainly not as heady as the sticky. It's toffee not pudding. as brown as the previous one. No, it's but it's not as of... yellow as the uh, as the brew dog. It's, it's got got a, definitely dark. It's got it's a bronzy, bronze yeah. kind and of. What look. was this definitely one? bronze. And what What was this one? This is a citrus pale ale. So I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, let's go for the taste. Just by the smell, I'm really looking forward to it. Ooh. Oh, I like it. I can taste the citrus. Yeah, yeah. that has definitely got a got a citrus that's tang. What that's what I've been looking for with one of these is something that just kind of breaks away from that generic kind of beer, beer taste. taste. And that's it, I think. Yeah, I, I would go. Okay, mm. I didn't mean for the smell to put you off, Zach. I know. On my description. Thank you. It's just Thank what, you for the apology. It's almost got that. That doesn't mean I like the smell of cat pee, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just point that out. Thanks for clearing that. <laughs> If you never smelt cat pee, then it's almost, you wouldn't know. It sounds weird to say, but it's almost with that citrusy. It almost has like kind of a cidery mm. taste to it. It's kind of more... Not for me. It's, it uh, ca- for me, it feels more pleasant than the sticky oh, toffee. I am getting the I am getting the pee-pee. <laughs> the pee-pee. <laughs> you get the pee-pee. After that last sip, I am getting the, the urine. The aroma back. of your cat yeah. urine. And that's kind of put me off the rest of it. But I am going gonna, I'm gonna to finish it. Oh, we haven't got much choice, have we? I oh, know that, yeah. You proper like that, didn't you, Dad? Mm. You proper like that buzz, didn't you? Mm. I like that it has it breaks up that kind of generic beer taste. Yeah, it has got something yeah. else with I'm, it. I'm going to give that one a five. I'm going. I'm going for the five. Okay, I I got to say, wasn't keen on the smell. Well, I didn't make that connection. So no, I was okay. That's only because I've smelt that smell before. I'm a, <laughs> I associate that smell with cat pee, and it's not a smell that I like. 
but the flavour was actually... It's citrusy, but I still haven't quite identified it's, the... It, it's broken free of the generic beer. The beer, yeah. But yeah. in a good way. Yes. In I'm, a good way, not yeah. in a not in a bad way. This is a good way. So I'm pumping this one up to... But again, the mid-range. Yeah, I'd have another one of these. Yes. I, I would bother. If I went to the to the bar and there were the bottles... And I wanted I would, something. You wanted something slightly different. I would... If I had one previously... If you I'd, went to the seaside... And they had this. Uh, <laughs> okay, you, let's put, if, if you went to Bricks and Pirate Festival, yes, and you were dressed as a pirate, yes, all you'd want to be seen drinking all weekend is ghost ship. Is ghost ship? Ship. I slurry now. I'm going in for my last. He's going in. He's going in. The last. Gulp. I'm going in for the last gulp, and I'm going to give you my rating just afterwards. Can anybody hear ghostly rattlings of bottles? Oh no, they're, they're dungeon haunted. Oh, hold oh, on. Crap, that's really <laughs> Oh dear, it's all falling like its head. You're doing well, oh, Zach. I'm give, I'm... For a non-beer drinker, or a non-alcohol drinker. Do you know what, I'm going to give that a seven. <gasps> wow. Wow. I'm going to give that a seven because... Ghost ship has suddenly <sighs> rocketed up the scale there. If we're going by... The sticky toffee pudding one, oh, which kind of had a, I think, I think a different... I, it, it didn't really have uh, much of the taste, but it had the smell, and it broke up that kind of generic beer taste. This one does both. It kind of has the citrusy smell and the citrusy yeah, but, taste. But it's not breaking up the taste on a novelty scale. It's breaking up the taste on a... On a, no, yeah. On a positive, nice, different... But I think, honestly, I think I would drink that over the Dark Star. Oh, right. Because I, I didn't make the cat pee connection. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm putting my glass down, but that's fine. No, now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with a seven. If we didn't have the cat pee connection, <laughs> <laughs> I then this is I, I would I, probably I, have given this higher. But... I am very sorry, Adnums, but <laughs> for referring very, to your beer as having very, a cat pee smell. Just, very specific complaint. D- well. Despite <laughs> this... Oh, sorry. Maybe Teddy's pee is actually quite nice. Despite <laughs> I don't know. Next d- episode on Now We Know Show. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. Despite that possible drawback, <laughs> I'm going to give that a five. So okay. that's my favourite so far. Oh, okay. okay. The so ghost ship has. Two of us have said I think that's the our ghost favorite. ship has sailed into the lead. Yes. Yes. Ghost. Uh, what did you give yeah. it, Buzz? I gave it a five as well. Okay. Yeah. But with so your score, you've pushed it in front of right, the okay. Dark Star. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm gonna stick Look at him. Look at him. He's, he's already <laughs> half cut. I, well, I don't even know. We've got four more to go. Four so. more to go. So, uh, it's Zach, it's yours. I think. My tummy feels funny. We've just crossed. <laughs> the, we should say we've just crossed the halfway line. So. Yeah. Come on. What's half of nine? Come on, barman. <laughs> who's, 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 what's the who's, what's what's the next? What what do you recommend, barman? Whose is it? Uh, um. Well, it's it's Zach's turn to choose. Oh. Um. I picked. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, Eeny, I think you should meeny. go. I genuinely, I don't want to oppose on your decision, but I think you should go for a can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we've only had one can so far. Uh, Four bottles, one I'm can. I'm going to go for this one. Right. Ooh. Very turquoisey blue kind of colour. I'll have to read this, don't I? Yep. I'm glad. If you want, s- I can read it. I I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to gonna read it. Poor old Zach. Here. <laughs> what, are the, what are the criterion? <laughs> <laughs> We've forgotten every single time. <laughs> uh, that's why I made a list. Uh, right, the name. The okay. name is Hazy Jane. Hazy Jane. That sounds like an illegal substance. Yeah. <laughs> also, it is another brew dog. So we well, should right. mention. Yeah, thank you, Jack. It's another brew dog that I believe. Jack. Oh, oh, pardon me. Oh God. Sorry. Are, um, we, are we in agreement that the previous brew dog was the least? Yeah, all that, that, that the least uh, uh, yeah. forget that. So right. Brewdog has to kind of pull it back. Yeah, yeah. This Come on, Brewdog, you got to pull it. Uh, what's the alcohol content? Five. Okay, so it's pretty pretty uh, good. It's also a New England IPA. Yes. Oh, Indian Pale Ale. Right. Yeah. Is that the do first like we've had of that? Yeah, we haven't had an Indian Pale Ale. Okay. I do like oh. an Indian Pale Ale. Right. United, we stand for something about. We Brewdog. are. You have to um, read around the label. Uh, United, we stand oh, for same. better beer. Pre- it's the same beer, stuff. Fiercely. Def, def, de, defiant What's this say? and independent. Embrace the opaque. And then there was some writing on the can uh, I open. Ah, oh, Japanese writing. No, there were, oh, well, it hasn't got the same stuff on it. Uh, United uh, we stand for better beer. Right. Hasn't really got anything written. New England IPA. Hazy Jane. Hazy Jane. The um, actual kind of presentation of a lot of these brew dogs are quite 
chaotic. Which yes. Is, uh, there's a lot of information, but not a lot of information. If yeah, that makes there's sense. a lot of jibber jabber on there. Yes. Mm, ingredients. Uh, let's have a look at the ingredients. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lots of words I can't now, pronounce. They, when I now I, I'm going to be interested in tasting this one simply because when I was back in my young, young, young days, rolling back the years, rolling back the years when I was a biker. Well, I still have my biker, but when I was out on my bikes all the time, I used to really like tart. There's a tartan beer, and they did an IPA, tartan IPA. Right. I, loved, I really liked that, and I don't think they do it anymore. I haven't seen it in years. Okay. So I'm interested to see if this make this brings my memories back of a good so, IPA. Also, I'm intrigued by the quote "embrace the opaque." Is that do you think that implies that the, the actual color. beer itself is going to be much like the sticky toffee pudding one? That's well, it, uh, very very dark. I, I am sure that the IPAs I used to drink were dark. Right, okay. but this is a can, so we have no idea until we open it. Uh, shall I do the honors? Oh, I wouldn't do it. No, okay. no, that was Zach's choice. I haven't yeah. opened a can. Hold my glass. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. everybody. Here we shh, go. Here it comes. Hazy Jane is in the room. Now the other one bubbled out the top. This Ooh, one didn't. No, that's, that's but that bad. that first brew dog was very not fizzy, so that doesn't get put Ooh, well. I was already getting. Oh, it's coming out. It's... Interestingly, as well, we don't really have any kind of pre um, mm, um, expectations for taste on this one. I'll tell you, I wouldn't have uh, guessed Ooh, this. I, I like have guessed... the smell though. I wouldn't have guessed it was an IPA because it is very opaque. I love the smell. That is a really nice smell. Okay. That oh, is now that is, that is hazy. That's why it's called that Hazy is Jane. Hazy. You, it, this is like a hazy cider. You we can't take, see through we've, it. We've taken a bus and we've arrived in Hazy Town. Yeah, we really have. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 did we get a return ticket? I don't What's know. What's that smell? Oh, that smells so nice. That's almost oh. like a mango y kind of. Yeah, oh, yeah mango. mango. Yeah, mango kind of. That's what that smell was. This is a mango y. I recognised oh. it, but I couldn't quite put my finger on you it. You are spot on with that. Okay, <laughs> listeners, this, this Hazy Jane. Let's describe it. I mean, the can the can was a blue can. Yeah, it was the blue Did one. you call that blue? Turquoisey blue. Turquoisey blue going to a darker, darker sort of... Gradient, uh, yeah. Raids out. The actual beer, you can't see through it. No. Cloudy. It's cloudy, as I'd expect from a cloudy side. The smell, I think that's the best smell so far. But you nailed it when you said... Mango. I, I didn't expect mango. When you said mango. Yeah. Mango. I, I am absolutely surprised that Brewdog have not... Called it mango. Somewhere. Put on that yeah. label that it's got a strong, mango-y strong mangoey aroma. aroma. That <clears throat> would have drawn me in to try it. Hmm. But it doesn't say anywhere on the can about it being kind of fruity. It just or says embrace like the opaque. Yeah. So hazy Jane, I've got high okay, expectations. Okay, go for the taste now. Mango. Well, yeah, I'm tasting mango. mango. It's almost a, a weak fruit, mango. Very fruity. fruity. Yeah. That's the most fruity one we've had so far. If 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 the can had said mango on it mango yeah. beer or just even fruity yeah aromas something. of mango with a with a mangoey taste mm. yeah, it's got the smell but i don't i can't quite get it in the taste it's initial initial taste but after that there's no yeah there's a slight mangoey hit at the beginning but then it just goes off into the other beery taste the beer should i get your chair do you want a bar stall i'm kind of wiggling aren't i it's <laughs> yeah. got a bit of um Dare I say, like, saltiness to it? <laughs> oh dear. And it's very dry, do you know what we I mean? We don't have a spittoon, so you've got to swallow, mate. Yeah, I, can't, I kind of, I'm guessing that from what you're saying. It's very yeah. dry, do you know what I mean? After, yeah. It's not very refreshing. Yeah, you'd you'd expect to... from a mango to be kind of fruit juicy, kind of mm. refreshing, but this doesn't... I'll tell you what it is. It dries my mouth. Yeah, I'll tell you what it is. is it's that like IPA? smelling mango. Mango? Mango. <laughs> smelling mango. 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 <laughs> 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 why, why, why is that funny? Why is that uh, funny? Just the way you pronounce it. <laughs> I was <Man> like, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. oh it's like smelling, smelling <laughs> smelling mango. I, I think it's but, us. but drinking grapefruit juice. I mean, a dry grapefruit, grapefruit juice. Grapefruit, yeah, I'm getting... Yeah, yeah, when you have grapefruit, you have... <laughs> <laughs> Almost like, you know... When <laughs> Who's you... trying to feed me grapefruit? <laughs> <laughs> you know when you have, like, cranberry juice, but it's, it's not... Yeah, it's that, like, it's dry... Not... Yeah, cranberry's kind of that. Grapefruit, <clears throat> yeah, but it doesn't taste like cranberry. No, no, it's just got that it kind of like aftertaste like grapefruit. Of bland... Yeah. Grapefruit. It's a dry grapefruit. I'm going to go for the rest of it. Um, oh, yeah, I'm holding something. Okay, I think Brewdog... Ooh. 
have done uh, better on this IPA. Yeah, yeah. This, better. This is, is it an IPA? It was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it the first a, one. It's not what I call an IPA. I don't even know what that is, so. You, you, said, you said they were very dark, didn't you? Well, I remember them being it's dark. It's very dark. It's, it's opaque. Yes. Mm. It's cloudy. Um, and I'm wondering if the orangeness, kind of goldy type, type thing, is from the mango, yeah. whatever they put in it. Of the two brew dogs, that's that's one hundred percent the nicest one. I don't think I, I. The smell for me is like ten out of ten. That's a really nice, refreshing kind of summer fruitsy I, I, type smell. I didn't expect the mango but, in this. Yeah, but after that, the taste kind of lets it down because it's so dry, as we said. Yeah, it's almost got that cranberry I kinda, juice. I kind of want to drink something else just yeah. to kind of yeah, there's refresh no... myself. <coughs> Sorry. There's no... <laughs> There's no refreshing okay, okay. element to it. Okay, I'll just Google this up. Okay, it says Indian Pale Ale is a hoppy beer style within a broader category of pale ale. Mm. The style of pale ale, which became known as Indian Pale Ale, was bright, bright spread, widespread in England by 1815 and would grow in popularity, notably as an export beer shipped to India and elsewhere. That's probably why it gets Indian Pale Ale, because it was shipped out to India. Yeah. So... I'd expect it to be pale, so maybe my memories of it being darker was because the lighting in the pubs was pretty crap at the time when I was young. Yeah, but it definitely lived <laughs> up to the opaque. Oh god, yeah, thing. that was the most I mean, kind of. I mean, it said cloudy. it said it did what it said on the can. Yeah, yeah. But it could have. I think okay, Brew Dog, if you're listening, I think you'd make more sales on that one if you pushed it on the mango front. Yeah. Just yeah. However, I mean, you've got three independent guys here, and we're all smelling mango. Well, the can is very... If you mango. smell straight from the can... Oh, yes, mango. Yeah, yeah. That's mango. It's brew dog. switch that. Call it Hazy What's It. Was it called Hazy Jane? <laughs> hazy Jane. Call, oh, it, hazy call it Hazy Mango. <laughs> <laughs> hazy Mango. <laughs> hazy Jane Mango Blast. I don't know. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've got to give it a rating, guys. Uh, it's a difficult one for me because I really like the smell. The smell's probably the nicest of all of them. I, I would say... Yeah, you know that sticky toffee pudding was a novelty... Yeah. I'd say that kind of, in its taste was, and smell was a novelty. Yeah, but it's just the taste lets it down. It's got that kind of dry... Yeah, they're, they're, for me, it, for me, it was the, the grapefruity dry. Yeah, even my mouth now is I, just... I think it wasn't possibly as good as the ghost ship, but it was slightly better than the sticky <laughs> <laughs> toffee one. <laughs> I think I'm going to say, I'm going to kick off and say a five, I think. Just, it's down okay. the middle for me. Okay. It's better than the last bo- brew dog. I'll give it. I'll give it a five as well. Uh, yeah. It's just middle middle ground. But I feel like I need a yeah, soft a, drink it's after. Like, <laughs> if you got hate yeah. on one side, love on the other side, it's sitting in the middle. Mm. <laughs> I, <laughs> I I gave the sticky toffee one. Come on, Zach, you can do this. Four point five five buddy. Oh, we went into the decimals, yeah. Um, I forgot we could go into decimals. And I gave <clears throat> the ghost ship a five. You did. I'm thinking 4.7. Oh, 4.7, okay. That's what I'm giving it. Okay. So we're kind okay. of edging on five, but... Better than the sticky toffee, but not as good as the ghost ship. Middle of, I think we've all agreed that's kind of middle of the road, yeah. but... Okay, yeah. okay. I, I would, I I would say if, I... anybody, if anybody was presented with the craft beer section in an off-license or in a supermarket, and you see the brew dog... I would say if you wanted to try one of their beers, so far that's the one. I wouldn't go for the other one. That's no, the, the one. other one's rubbish. That's the one to try. There you go. If but you smoke a glass, you get a uh, kind of mangoey, sticky toffee pudding <laughs> smell. <laughs> that someone spilt in some beer. Okay. Right, let's move it on, gents. Um, okay, Barman, what's uh, next I, on your. I chose the last one. So, so it's Jack. Me, it's me again, yeah. It's Jack again. So Jack is choosing what the Barman's choice is. Go, go, Jack, go, go, go. Oh, the so we've got started. two bottles left and one can. Should have brought, so we'll the, uh, should from... have brought the dry roasted peanuts in. <laughs> <laughs> go for a bottle. <laughs> I'm the only one who hasn't um, actually... Belched. Yeah. I'm going to go for this one right, right that's, here. Right, that's one that I brought. It is called Summer Lightning. Summer Ooh, Lightning. That is a cool one. And the uh, brewery is called Hopback Brewery. Hopback. No, I don't and this is a golden ale, so... So we're expecting something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got we've almost got kind of like a shield 
uh, logo on the front. That actually looks. And is that? Would you say that's like a, almost a Greek-looking uh, face on there? He looks like a green man. Well, you know, like green yeah, man? I would have said green man. I'm but getting he's... Wicker Man. All right, all right. From okay. <laughs> yes. I was at looking. Hundred percent. I'm getting Wicker Man. I was man looking at it upside down. <laughs> it looked Greek, but now, now I've looked because at the bottle. It's a green man. If you recall, isn't the town in um, Summer Isle? Summer Isle. Isle yeah. In Wicker Man is called Summer Isle. And they have a logo that's very similar to that. Yeah. Okay, Maybe so we, logo, we have got... I, 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 if big, you're watching The Wicker Man, I this was one for you. <laughs> I like The Green Man, so now I've, that's already up to my expectation. Yes. Yes. I like The Wicker Man. It's a good uh, movie. Well, Summer Wicker Lightning. Man, yeah, it's got lightning flashes on the bottle. Doesn't give me much to it's do another, with... It's another generic brown beer bottle. Yep, it doesn't plain give me... Plain gold top. Oh yeah, plain gold top. It doesn't give yeah, me... Let me hold your glass, sir. It doesn't give me much to do with flavour. Oh, what's so going on? Turn, I'm going to turn oh, it over. Oh, yeah, look back. at that. Oh, ho. It's big right, bigger writing. I'll so turn it over. Helpful. Turn it over. We've got a yellow label. Uh, the alcohol volume is 5%. Okay. Yet again. Ooh. This is the brewery conditioned version of Summer Lightning. Probably Britain's most awarded cask golden ale. Oh, right. I'm expecting. That promises a lot. So, what does that what does it mean by? What does it mean by cask? Cask, well, it's in a wooden cask. Well, I presume, well, no, beers these days are all in metal casks, aren't they? I don't know. Uh, maybe that's just, uh, <sighs> I don't know. Sorry. Maybe it's one of those words that uh, It's a funky words. word. It's a funky word to make you cask. I mean, when I think of a cask, yeah, cask of wine, cask of whiskey, I think of a barrel. A barrel uh, I should probably. Beer. But whether they mean that or whether they mean an aluminium cask. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> we so. should probably check if anyone here is pregnant. Are you pregnant, Dave? I'm not pregnant. Not the last time I checked, no. Yeah, okay. Well, what about you? Okay. Nope. nope. Summer Lightning, named after the hilarious novel by P.G. Wodehouse. Based on Wodehouse. a novel? Is that Wodehouse or Wodehouse? Wode. There's only one Yeah, o. Wode. Wodehouse. Okay. Ingredients. This. See, this is the sort of bottle we need because it tells you the ingredients just simply. <laughs> simply. In, in big writing. And big not, writing, not yeah. in Japanese. So the ingredients are water. <laughs> 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 Best barley malt. East Kent Goldings hops, brewed with hop back yeast. Oh, we've got the hop back. That's come up before. And I don't think any of us are allergic to it, so we're we're okay. We're okay. good. We're um, good. I really love the label because yeah, it's, it's because like one of my favourite horror it's a films. It's shield shaped label, isn't it? One of my favourite horror films is The Wicker Man, and yeah. I didn't think of it <laughs> until Zach said it. Is it a horror like, movie? Eh, kind, kind of, of cult cult yeah. horror. Ish. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll give yeah. it. A, okay. But as soon as Zach said that, I was like, "Yes, this is the Wicker Man." Come on, you, you got you, you got to love a movie that's got uh, so many film references. That's got uh, Bridget Bardot in as well as and Christopher uh, Lee. Christopher, Christopher Lee. Lee. Yeah. Edward Woodward. Oh, Edward Woodward. Just because it's Woodward? fun to say. Woodward. Yes. Right. How much wood would wood chuck chuck if it would chuck good chuck wood? Edward Woodward. <laughs> Sorry. On. How, How much, much wood could wood chuck chuck if it would chuck good chuck wood? How do I say that? <laughs> how much wood could Edward Woodchuck if a wood? <laughs> how, <laughs> Edward wood how much could chuck wood? wood could a woodchuck wood? No wood, wood chuck 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 chuck. chuck. Okay. Taking, um, Yay! The Edward. bottle's open. I'm sorry, off. sorry, listeners. Edward Wood. Yeah, taking right. off. I've, well, I've taken off the plain. The plain gold golden. lid. Your glass is down there, sir. Right here we are in the dungeon bar. Another big bottle here. Pouring it. Ooh, interesting. Oh, this is coming out smooth. Interesting colour. Come on, summer lightning. Knock my socks off. Got a nice sound to that. Yeah. You and your posh glass. Yeah. Ooh, a little bit more for other. Yep. There's a little bit more in there. Kind yeah. of got that bronzy look, hasn't it? Yeah. Again, this is back to that uh, that original brew dog kind of colour, but maybe not quite so insipid. On Slightly kind of bronzy gold. I think we're bronzy back. Gold. I think we're back to the beginning now, aren't we? Yeah. With in terms of where Dark Star was, that's kind of the, yeah. Oh, I, don't, I don't like the smell at all. Oh, no, no, no. That, now that smell is the smell I would expect of wort. Sorry? When you did home brewing, okay. Oh, I don't like that. When you get home, well, home brewing, you normally get concentrated wort, which is like a, a thick, treacly wort that is the, you, you ferment. Right. You, you add it to the water. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just now, this, exposing this, all of it. This, this has a homebrew smell to it. Okay. It smells like 
It smells very... It smells like body odour. <laughs> I don't know if that's just... <laughs> if Chris... Okay. No, no. Oh, dear. If Chris... If Chris <laughs> right, okay. We've got a friend called Chris Austin Wall out there. Who, who hi, is Chris. A, hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Who's a, who's a great beer drink. We'll have to get him in the studio because I know oh, he does yeah. home brews and he also uh, uh, has a lot to do with, with ca camera. Is it camera? I think he... Did he do a cider at one point that we had yeah, at yeah, a banquet? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we we really, had a really cider nice, at a banquet, yeah. which was really nice. I have to get him in the studio as a special yeah. guest uh, talking about beers, but... I know that, that that Chris would understand the smell of this, you know, as home yeah. brewer, as a home brewer. I can't identify it, but that's just because. No, I'm that not. is that is definitely a home brewery smell. And what we saying the about head the head is the head on this one has gone right now. Boom. Yeah, yeah. And I'm what we saying about the color? It's kind of back to kind of golden, golden brown. Yeah, I mean the, the light the light coming through the glass onto the palm of my hand. It's it's very yeah. Golden. You can see through it just about. Yeah. Oh look. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for the taste. Yeah, go for the taste. That's oh. ah, yeah, that's sharp. That is, it tastes. It smells like strength. Like what? <laughs> strength. <laughs> like strength. It tastes like like. It tastes like a proper, gym. It tastes like if I went if I took a time machine back to like the fifteen hundreds right. and drank a beer. That's what I feel like it would taste like. <laughs> yeah, but this is this this taste to me. Okay, the more traditional, like a more traditional brewed beer. Yeah. Yeah. This 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 is. This, as you said about home brewing. I can imagine this would taste that's like something strong. that someone has brewed yeah, at their but, home. But it has a good uh, meaty flavour. <laughs> I don't know about meaty. Well, no, no. It's, it, it, it's stronger. You can, you, it's a biteable flavour. Yeah, there's something, yeah. It's like you can... Bitter. Now, it's bittery. Well, it, yeah. what it was this was down as a golden ale, was it? Let's have a uh, look. Um, when yeah, I gold, think... Golden ale, yeah. Award of, wing. Of so. beer, I feel like mm. this is kind of... The taste I would expect. Yeah. Okay, so from yeah. a beer, <laughs> as Your somebody beer. who used to be very, very much for many years into my home brew, this tastes like a proper beer that has been brewed traditionally, not a factory produced beer. It's very striking because it's lightning. Because that's fun. It's like beer. Yeah, it's very no. striking. It's sharp. For me, there's a sharp. For me, this this one's the best strike. one. This is the best one I've had. If you were, at, <laughs> I think this if one. If, on, I, if I drank, I mean, I hardly drink, but if I drank two pints of this, I'd probably be on my back. If you were on Summer Isle, I'm a cheap date. If you were on Summer Isle yeah. in the film Wicker Man, and yeah. some one of the village folk had made their own beer, this is what it would taste like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This, this is one to drink while watching a horror movie. It's, yeah, it just tastes old. It it tastes. Mm. Similar to some that, of the first that, ones. That's a medieval beer. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, but in a I'm good way to... for me. I like it. Yeah, I think I it was. Grow, it's growing it, on you, it is was, it, Jack? Yeah, it's a stronger version of some of the first few mm. we tasted. But I think, and was, I like it for that. What was the last one we had? Hazy Jane. Mm -hmm. The Hazy Jane didn't have any refreshing elements to it, whereas this, I feel like, on a summer's I, day, I could drink another pint. You of could that. drink another one, and it would be. Yeah. It would perk you up a little bit. Well, I don't know. <laughs> perk me up. <laughs> or lay me down. You struggling there, Zach? Sorry. I've still got, I've still got a lot. Oh, oh dear. Oh. I'm, how am I? Haven't even... You've got to learn to let it out, son. I can't. <laughs> Zach will be editing it and editing out all the burps. <laughs> oh. No, don't edit no, it. No, I'm not going to edit out the burps. I have to release the. Fu future Zach, who's going to be editing this and releasing it on, on various future things. Zach. Can, Zach, can um, you tell him? We've been really Don't mean. edit out the burps. We're really being mean to him, are we? Because this <laughs> yeah. guy, I mean, listeners, this guy has never touched. Ow. Before this episode. <laughs> He's never Zach touched never, beer. How long have we been in here? I, I don't... <laughs> you know, just, anyway. Yeah, well, like, back to the... Let's get, like been in here a while. let's get to the scores on the doors. I need to I'm finish it. Oh, I haven't finished. Yeah, I don't honestly. Know. See, I obviously liked it. You I finished mine. No, I finished mine. We've, we've enjoyed it, but we're talking about it. Mine oh. went down smooth. I like it. I do, yeah, that's sort of what you want if you want like a traditional beer, classic beer. That's yeah. the, and, and it did say on the bottle yeah. it won a lot of awards. The idea of beer to me, that's kind of what I think it would possibly taste like, which it does. So, does anyone know of the hilarious novel by P.G. Wodehouse? How is it based on no. a novel? That's so cool. Nope. We should look into it. We should watch The Wicker Man after this as well. Maybe the novel had a beer in it called Summer Lightning. So, what are your ratings out of ten? Uh, for me. I'm going straight in with an Sorry, eight. Sorry, I burped over your rating. So I am okay. okay. <laughs> Rewind on that one. For this one, I'm going for an eight. 
This is the first decent beer. I'm not saying the uh, Dark Star wasn't a decent beer, or the Tanglefoot was, uh, but this one was a beer beer. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. It's interesting how literally all the beers we've chosen randomly have all come out to be ales. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, so far we haven't had a bitter. So, Summer Lightning uh, is a novel by P.G. Wodehouse, first published in the United States on the 1st of July, 1929. And what's it about? Does it have a synopsis? It's a comic novel, apparently. Mm. Okay. It's called um, Summer Lightning. Yes. So, this is a comedy beer. I don't... There's a lot of information, but... Um, okay. Yeah, other than that, I'm not sure, but... Now, if I have to rate it... Yep. Interesting Which that I'm... we've got a beer based on a novel. That's so a, you're, that's rating a... <laughs> it, you're rating it from the perspective of a non-beer drinker. From a non-beer drinker. Uh, that's kind of what what I expected to kind of taste from a beer. Initially, yeah. initially I was tentative, but I like its kind of strong, striking initial... <laughs> Sharpness, beautifully put. Um, what so, sort of flavors l so, lingered on the tongue? Um, what's that kind of hoppy goldenness? <laughs> hoppy golden, <laughs> golden. Is there any electric lightning uh, in yeah, there? Yeah, it was that I sharp think... strike at the beginning. It was like boom, we're in it. Right, what, what did you give it? I gave it an eight. Eight now, that's interesting because I was before drinking this, oh, I was <laughs> certain that nothing could possibly get better than. <laughs> The ghost ship. Right. Oh. Now, having drunken Drummond. the Drunk. Wicker Man. The Wicker Man beer. The Wicker Man one. Wicker juice. <laughs> the Wicker juice. Striking lightning or whatever. He's it is. getting image, images of Bridget Bardo <laughs> at a window. Uh, I was thinking of Christopher Lee, actually. Oh, God. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not in that way. Not in that way. Christopher uh. Lee. Tackle out. <laughs> no! Just stop it. Just stop. Where, where are you going? <laughs> stop. I'm making a very good point here. Okay, come on. This, of all the things we've tasted so far, has been my favourite. Whoa! Ooh. The non beer so, drinker has spoken. I'm going to go with a number. <laughs> 6.5. 6.5. 6.5. .5. I was going to I was going to say 7, so that's probably. Between you two's scores. Okay, it looks, uh, does that mean that the Summer Lightning has actually taken the lead then, I think, has it? Eight yeah, I think and so, seven. Yeah. I gave Ghost Ship five. And I, I think, think I gave it that kind of... I can't remember. I can't remember either. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to, have to re listen to the Summer recording. Lightning. Summer Lightning? Okay. Summer Lightning. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening, it's well worth taking a punt at the Summer Lightning. And if you do, please... Give us feedback in the comments. Yeah. Right, okay. We are down to, in the uh, dungeon bar, we are down to two beers left. Two select choices. And, and it's that's, Jack. No, I picked... Like, oh, he, did you? He, he, oh, is yeah. it me? Yeah, yeah. It's you. Well, I can't choose one because one is one, is one I brought One is in. yours. Right, okay. One is one of mine, one, one, one. Oh. <laughs> we, should, we should mention, I should translate that. Yeah. We should mention that there is a can left and a bottle left. Can and a bottle. Bottle of can. Oh, sure. like can or bottle. Bottle of can. <laughs> you've, drunk, you've drunk in all mine. So you like this. Not a lot. <laughs> you've drunk, drank. Right, so I, I have drunk. no choice. Yes. This oh, okay. Well, you I have did. No, no choice. You did kind of have a well, choice. Well, I didn't have a choice because I'll be choosing mine. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to choose mine. Yeah. Fair enough. So I've got to choose this last can. The can. Okay. And the can is called? The can is a, the third can Somebody's been going buying their stuff from Brewdog. <laughs> the third can is from Brewdog. The Brewdog trilogy is complete. It's the Brewdog oh trilogy. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to like this one. This one is called... <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What is this called? <laughs> Breathe, breathe, breathe. 
Okay, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I, I could not. I could not go to a bar. I could not. <laughs> I could not go to a bar and order this. <laughs> Okay, trying to get oh, some oh some semblance of normal. <laughs> okay, okay, second. Okay, <laughs> okay, Zach. Uh, this one is by Brewdog, <laughs> and the big. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry, Eric. laughs> oh. And the beer. Yeah. <laughs> it's presented in a semi-silver can. The third quarter of the can is silver, and the rest of it is. <laughs> Is it kind of red, red and? I think it's, an, I think it's like an American flag. It's American flag. Yeah, it's American flag, but no stars and stripes. <laughs> and um, oh my, my god! Okay, uh. so this beer is called. <laughs> it's called. Are you ready for this? It's called. It's called Elvis Juice. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's called Elvis juice. It says grapefruit infused IPA. It's bloody grapefruit. Again. What's his name? <laughs> it's the name. It's the name that's so funny. I'm gonna be drinking Elvis juice. The quiz. The quiz. Okay. 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 Oh, it says juice up and ready to roll. <laughs> <laughs> Juiced up and ready to roll. Oh, right. yeah. oh yeah. Let's give oh. our lips real some Elvis juice. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, 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 dear. Why do I just feel like somebody squeezed <laughs> Elvis into a can? <laughs> I hope not. Blended Elvis. Oh man, sorry ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> sorry when I read that, that was just ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so we're now gonna be tasting Elvis juice. <laughs> 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 oh, <that was> <laughs> okay, okay. Are you ready, gentlemen? Oh, oh, sorry. Compose happening? yourselves. Compose Calm. yourselves. <sighs> three, two, one. Three, three, two, three, one. Three breaths. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Calming breaths. Okay. In, five. In. One, two, three. <laughs> Out. One. Two. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Just don't think of the name. No, we're not. I'm not thinking of the name. Okay, we're going for the opening. What did it say on the front? <laughs> Damn it. Oh. <laughs> well, it just said. It says. <laughs> Grapefruit infused IPA. Oh, okay, grapefruit, okay. What that's got to do with Elvis juice, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crikey. Okay. It's almost like Elvis is in the studio. Also, 6.5%. 6.5. Six <laughs> <What? 6. laughs> Elvis does not mess about. <laughs> he doesn't mess about. He's the king. Come on. The he's, the, he's the king of beers. Oh, this this is one. the strongest one we've had so far. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> right, here goes. Oh my god. That's this, very that's, yellow. This is very dehydrated. <laughs> dehydrated pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. This is definitely Elvis juice. Look how much head is on that? Ooh, I'm looking All the way from Las oh, Vegas, this, this one. Great. This, the smell is brilliant. That's, that's a really nice that's fruit sheep smell. This is this has come from Las Vegas. This says. I'm getting kind of mangoey again. Oh my goodness! Is that mango? Well, it says grapefruit. Oh, this, okay, has got, grapefruit. This, is, this has got a huge head. That is. A... That's like. Yeah, that, that is now. Sorry. Look, <laughs> now the other one had no mention of mango. No, Hazy Jane. No. This one did say mango infused. And I'm getting. And I'm really getting the mango. This grapefruit. Oh, grapefruit. Is it grapefruit? Grapefruit. Oh God. It says grapefruit, grapefruit infused. Yeah, grapefruit infused. Indian pale ale. It's, it's, I'm having flashbacks to the, uh, to the hazy oh, <laughs> It smells refreshing. Really yeah, like... yeah, okay. So if I was going for the smell, I'd be expecting a nice fruity... It smells yeah. fruity. A fruity beverage. But if we go to quaff... If we go by the hazy... summer's day. <laughs> <laughs> if we go, mm, if we go by the much. hazy Jane, that yeah. was very dry to taste. That wasn't yeah. very refreshing at I all. I don't want... A, a, a dry aftertaste from this. No, I want I, a I 10 want out of 10. I want a refreshing, a refreshing quaff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just like Elvis is in the studio. Um, it's amazing. I'm, I'm hoping for a 10 out of okay, 10. We for the okay, we haven't really, okay we, we've got quite a bit of head on this one. The colour is a very bronzy. Brown, you can see yeah. through it. It's got that uh, grapefruit smell. Brown. Not very many bubbles again. N again, no. Similar virtually the, no bubbles. <clears throat> similar to the first. Will it taste brutal. flat? Let's go for it. Oh. Mm. It's got a kind of sour, soury taste to it. Uh, <clears throat> 
first hit, definitely fruit. It's getting sticky again. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I reckon it's got, it's got a lot of sugar in that. The quote, I'm getting sticky again. <laughs> You're getting sticky from Elvis. I'm not getting juice. sticky. I'm saying that Elvis is sticky. <laughs> Elvis juice is sticky. Yes. <laughs> Good lord. Hmm. No, this is a. It's got a kind of. Um, this is a kids' drink. It's got a kind of artificial candy taste to it. Do you know what I mean? When you get yeah, like, like, like brew dog. I don't know how you do your beers, but these are very much uh, kind of. Um, they don't taste like traditional beers to me. They no. taste so far. All of them have tasted like sort of kind of. Fun art of it's sort like, of teenage yeah. beers for fun. It's like if you had a grapefruit juice, but you said it was beer flavour. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the opposite way around. Also, sponsor us if you if you're listening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if there are <laughs> if there are any breweries out there that would like us to taste test your beer, by all means, get in contact with the Now We Know show, and uh, we'll be oh your face, no. mate. Come on, breweries, please, we need you to get in touch with us. <laughs> Send us some samples so we can sing the praise of your beer. Goodness. Because so far, we have not had our <laughs> socks blown off, have we? Oh, no. We're not grooving along around the stage. <laughs> Elvis stuff. No, no, no. Aftertaste on that one. Oh. It's, so, it's very dry oh, yeah. again. All three of the brew dogs have been very dry to taste. No. Summer off, uh, summer off, summer lightning. Yeah. Summer. Thunder, so basically, yeah, lightning. it's it's the game right back to the first one, the Dark Star, mm. and the Summer Lightning are the two. That, ghost uh, ship. Don't forget ghost. Oh ship. God, yeah, yeah, the ghost ship. Ghost ship. Oh man. Silly sausage. Ghost yeah. ship is a close second. <clears throat> so Summer Lightning followed by Ghost Ship by followed by Dark Star. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, that's good. I don't know. I don't that, that has the same. I am praying now to the gods of beer. That has a very. <laughs> beer gods? There are beer gods, I'm that sure. That has a very kind of middle point between the lost one, which we tried at the start, yeah. and Hazy Jane. And the mango, yeah. Because the mango I quite enjoyed, but that one was a bit. Okay, so uh, out of the brew dogs, which would you go for? The Hazy Jane. Yeah, I'd go for the Hazy yeah. Jane. The Hazy Jane brew dog, if you're listening, brew dog, we're going to go for the Hazy Jane. Uh, Second place, I think, would be probably. This... The, the Elvis juice? Yeah, the Elvis <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. For the name alone. Brew Dog, I don't know how you come up with your names at uh, team meetings, but. Uh, that's got to be Possibly a rethink. That's, got, some kind of that's the most amusing <laughs> beer name we've had. What have you been drinking tonight? I've been drinking, <laughs> I've been drinking Elvis juice. That is uh -huh. it's good, probably good to note that is the highest volume of alcohol, though. So, did you get any. Um, you it's any... probably because. Well, see, normally, uh, if you were associating with alcohol content, the higher the alcohol content, the more of the sugar mm -hmm. has to be turned into alcohol by the yeast. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the less, if if uh, if it's a low alcohol content, then you should get more of a sugary taste. Right. Yeah. Because less of the sugar has been turned to alcohol. Mm. Right. If it's a higher alcohol content, then you expect the majority of the sugar has been turned to alcohol. The yeah. yeast has done its job because the yeast feasts on the sugar, converts it to alcohol. So I'd expect that one as a higher one to actually be thicker in its flavour, stronger in its flavour, yeah. but it's still, actually for some reason, it's still feels sticky. I think the overwhelming kind of summary of all three of the brew dogs has been they're, well, they're all very dry. Yeah. They're not very refreshing at all. I wouldn't go yeah. for that on a summer's day, as we said at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. To refresh you, they're all very kind of aftertaste. I feel like I want a glass of water. 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 <laughs> a bit of water. <laughs> it's your London coming out on you. You'll be out there down all these tenders next week. Yeah. You'll be, you'd be propping up the bar in the Queen Vic like you normally do, Jack. <laughs> And if you think I'm joking, Jack usually does prop up the bar in the Queen Vic on these tenders. As, as do we. As all do the, we all. All the gay bar. <laughs> oh, in the, in the, what's it called? The Prince, Prince album. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Yeah, I'm going to give that a... Put that on your bingo cards, ladies I, I, and gentlemen. I'm going to give that a three. But I'm not sure what I gave the first one, but I'm going to give it a three. Hmm. Uh, uh, I'm going to be more general. I'm going to give it a four. Okay, yeah. oh, I'll give it a four. Interesting. It was a stronger flavour. I... <clears throat> it was just a lesser version of the Hazy Jane for me. It did deliver on the smell that it said on it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it did have the great The name flag. was a bit gimmicky, but I kind of liked it for that. 
Yeah, I yeah. mean, that that was the comedy element. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, they, certainly on the packaging, BrewDog have gone for kind of more of a... They're trying to sell you the yeah, beer yeah. through the name. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know whether or not the beer actually delivers. Whereas Eagle Brewery just went straight up for sticky toffee pudding beer. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. No messing about. Bite out the glass. Job done. <laughs> I'm going to give it a 4.1. Okay. 4.1. Fair enough. <laughs> the beer's having the decibel effect on him. Right. So we right, have okay. our last beer. Last beer, ladies and gentlemen. Last beer before we call time. Okay. So we needed a bell, really, didn't we? Ding, ding. Last orders, please. Last orders, please, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> last orders. Oops. What we got um, on last um, orders then? Who's, who's, I think who's, it's yours. I I get, uh, you picked I the, did the can. So yeah. I get, so I get to choose the next one. Yeah, there's only one left. Good luck. Um, Come on. It's, um, Are we going to finish on a high? It's a bit of a tough choice, to be honest. But I think, given given, given the choice, I'm going <laughs> to have to go if we're gonna finish. with this one. Are we going to finish on a high? What have we got? Oh, cool. Put your glass down, sir. Okay. Okay. What's, the, what's the barman giving you? Uh, our, our fattest bottle. <coughs> oh, yeah, actually, to be fair, there's a lot of writing. All the other bottles have been quite similar in their size, haven't they? Really? Yeah. Yeah. This one is a it's quite unique. a chunky bottle. It's unique. It's kind of thicker. So it's a wide. It's not a stubby. It's not like a roll stubby bottle. This has still got the height to it, but it's wider. It's been lifting weight. <laughs> yeah. This so is, this, is, this, this is, is this is a <laughs> beer. Right. This what is it? Good for? Is... <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Do it again, now. <laughs> anyway, okay. Beer anyway. drinkers, ready. <laughs> <laughs> I can really give you the pee right. <laughs> Zach, ready. <laughs> you shall go Three. on my first whistle. <laughs> Two, one. one. <laughs> oh, God, this is editing this, man. Come sorry. on, sorry, 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 um, sorry, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, right, okay. India Pale Ale since 196 no not 19 1698 okay it's an indian pale ale what's the name of what's the, the brewery beer? what's the brewery oh yeah sorry uh it's written around she- there. right shepherd neem and co <laughs> shepherd neem and co faversham faversham brewery brewery and yeah. the name of the beer India Pale Ale. Right, so it's India Pale Ale. That's it. It's got no other name. Britain's oldest beer. Right, so this is Britain's oldest beer, it says. No, 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 it's Britain's what? oldest brewer. Oh, oh. oldest brewer, not <laughs> brewer. oldest beer. Oh, okay. Um, right, <laughs> Your okay. focus has gone, hasn't it? Sorry, what was the question? He's got his beer goggles on. In terms of the alcohol content, we have a 6.1. 6.1. Whoa, is this the strongest one yet? <laughs> uh, no, uh, I'm not possibly. sure. I think we had how, a six, was, how was Elvis? I think we had a 6.5 with Elvis. Did we? Yep. Uh, yeah, 6.5. Okay. So okay. Se- second, so second strongest. Okay. <clears throat> to finish off. Right. Okay. Seri- <laughs> ser- serious now. Serious. Could really do with serious. a wee. <laughs> <laughs> One more. You can do it. You can One do more. It. You had to mention it. <laughs> Get on. on with it. I'm going. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, read the... Right. A historic brew which conjures up images of high seas and faraway places. An IPA encapsulates centuries of brewing tra- 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 tradition, a quintessentially strong and hoppy beer with a bold, stirring character. Our India Pale Ale delivers this magnificently pale in colour, co- colour, co- 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 colour, colour. And generously bittered with locally grown fuggle hops. What's the fuggle, the fuggle hops? hops. Fuggle, hops. <laughs> fuggle hops. Which you makes it that way. I've got no well, space. Well, it was a fuggle. Hop is a type of hop. Oh, it... oh, oh, it's got, it's got little, it's got little, little key. It's got a key of sea, smell, and taste. Okay, so we should. So see. we should. Yes. We should expect rich golden. Uh, to rich. see, to see it, yeah, to rich. see it, we should see rich golden. I've got to say at this point, listeners, do not feed Zach beer. <laughs> the smell! <laughs> we the should smell is next. He starts turning into a Scotsman. Hoppy, fruity, spicy. Ooh, oh. I don't know about spicy. It's oh, I want spicy. I like spicy. I like spicy. <laughs> and we should taste, Zach. curry now. We should, we should taste. Um, 
t- the taste is bitter, hoppy, malty. Malty, I like them. Malty. That was that was the thing. The, that home brew smell. Yeah, that was the malt. Malty. Yeah. The malt. Scottish. <laughs> right. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty need a wee. <laughs> Come on. I got to open this now. Have yes. Kind of we're, we're kind of jogging the spot. Keep the jiggling on the spot. spot. Uh, Keep moving on the spot. I'm Here we go. Shh, 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 shh. Here Scottish. comes the opening. Last yeah. one. I'm going to open it. Oh. Ooh. There we go. That was a positive. I thought we were drinking from the bar. I'm not going to let it through. Come on, get your glass. The, where's the bar? Uh, it's where down is there, it? It's where on is the it? bar. It's the, on the bar. We wee lads. Your glass on the bar. Non Scotland. <laughs> wee! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> this is hard. One of his personalities one? have come out. Yeah, definitely, sc- definitely from Scotland. Look at the size You're of it. You're being very generous with your. Uh... <laughs> He's filling his glass up. <laughs> come on. I'm nice. trying come, on. For you. come on, come on. You can do it. Poor I'm, old Jack's. I'm fit to burst. <laughs> who's, <laughs> whose idea was this? He's got a peanut bladder. That's the problem. <laughs> My wee, my wee's gonna smell of sticky toffee pudding. Who just knows what else? Or Teddy. It's gonna smell of Teddy. Don't make me laugh. I'll keep going. Blimey! Come on, this. I told you this bottle was good. <laughs> I've just Come got on. like half pint there. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Now, this has got. Pass me the bottle. This has got more of the colour expected from an IPA. Okay. So we should we should be seeing a rich golden. Yeah, this is yeah. a darker <clears> colour. You know what I said earlier. We should be smelling a hoppy, fruity spice. I'm not getting any spice. It smells very much like the first. Bit. It smells. Yeah, it smells. Similar. It does smell hobby. Where's the spiciness? I want the chilies. Oh, the chilies? That is disgusting. I don't know if they've got oh chilies. man! <laughs> we should taste a bitter, hoppy, malty taste. It just smells like beer. That's like the lightning, summer lightning, but turned up to eleven. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is a thicker beer. Yeah, mm. this is. This this one has been on. St- uh, it's been working out at the gym. Yeah, it's got a bit of sweat, a bit of a sweat on. That's yeah. like somebody's <laughs> trying too hard. It's very yeah bitter. This this particular beer is in the gym. Young lady comes in suddenly. Energy four thousand. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's pumping. This that. is somebody showing off. It's almost like it's yeah, got showing like off. a peppery sort of taste to it. Yeah, but I that's, think that's the spice. Yeah. I'm not getting any spice. Maybe it's just oh. my spicy. Yeah, no, that's the taste buds just not picking up. This is this Can is it. that way. Yeah. Sorry, um, they were like my <laughs> proximity. You know, bitter proximity alert. Bitter proximity pe- alert. I need you to <laughs> lean on. <laughs> oh, he's put his head on his shoulder. Uh, a peppery, to that point of the evening. salty, salty sort of taste. This is this is the strong, yeah, craft beer flavour. We. It's a bit grass in there as well. Grass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not we, talking we, about. We've had uh, hay and I'm grass. Not, I'm not talking about wacky backy. Not talking about the hazy Jane. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about. I'm talking about actual grass. Like full on. Uh, the I don't know if it's because we're at the end of the session. I don't think you like it. No. It's. It, this is a, this is a much stronger. To flavor. me, it feels like it's trying too hard. It's the it's the summer lightning, but as I say earlier, it's kind of kind of turned up more. It's yeah, more t- kind of bittery and turn the uh, turn the fla- the volume up on the flavour. There's a very spicy kind of aftertaste, isn't it? Mm. Again, like I think it belches on its way. <laughs> really need a wee. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Zach's you go. first belch of the year. Right in my face, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know. It was funny. <laughs> right, done. Okay. Ooh. Now you don't look like you. <clears throat> oh my, fa- my voice is going weird. Hello. Sorry, so I'm not too kind of. I quite like the after the spicy aftertaste, but it's not really something I would. No, I can. I don't think I'd go for a second pint on that. No, it's not something I would go for, but I can see why that would that's be. A strong I want flavor. it more vavaboom. Mm. Yeah, that that's got a very strong flavour to it, which I'd expect. It's but try, it's uh, trying too hard. It has got it's that very much dry. Yeah, not something else. It's not refreshing at all. Now the uh, the summer lightning is uh, is the one. Sorry, right. the burps getting foamier every time. <laughs> We're in it's the Elvis juice coming back on you. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Jack, foam. man. Oh, hey, foam yeah. town. <laughs> right, so let's go for a score on this one. I haven't drunk it yet. Give us oh, a chance, hurry Precious. Up. Give us a chance. Oh, he's getting it in Gollum. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm literally going to wee <laughs> myself. They're filthy literal thieves. It's as it is. I'm going to wee once it. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to step on the spot for a little while. I've been swaying for the last half an hour. No, I need to wee. <laughs> <laughs> not, in the, not in the sound booth. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> he needs his time. time. Sorry. He, we are, we are in the hand. dungeon bar, and you need to make your way to the gym. <laughs> yes, the dungeon uh, But I'm waiting on Zach to finish his uh, Come on, quaff your beer. Quaff your beer. I've got to be ready. Yes. You know? I've got to be ready. I'm going to do the 360. <laughs> He's doing a turn. <laughs> this is very, very long. I have got an empty glass if it's ever used. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> the podcast first. <laughs> yes. No. I have this very interesting beer, sir. I do need to go to the toilet. <laughs> Come on, there's like two. Calm it's like down. Like one mouthful. Calm left. down. You're you're ruining my connoisseur. Your ex beer experience. drinking experience. I need to uh, I need to experience. Okay. Whatever this is. Do that quickly what? then. What name is it? Well, it's just <laughs> IPA. This is the uh, IPA from the Shepherd Neem and Co. Faversham Brewery. And this one of yours, Buzz? Yeah. Yes. No, I, li- I liked this. I like, an, I, say, I like an IPA. I wanted more spice. Well, that one is a bit dry on the It's definitely the most spicy, but again, it's very, very dry on the very aftertaste. Very dry, yeah. Um, I am going to say a six. And I would concur a six on yeah. that. Six? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think that's at all. <laughs> I think just about. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, five point two. Fair okay, enough. so we've got six and six and five point two. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Ding, ding. Oh, That's it. That's well, it. For the, we've freaking done it. That's it for episode one of the beer tasting. Okay, and we've got lots more <laughs> things to do. That was very, um, I, I enjoyed that. I learned a lot about. The beer. different different styles of different beer. Style. I well, mostly uh, ales, I must say. Yes. I yeah. now know what beer tastes like. You yeah. do. So, what was the? What was ladies that? and gentlemen, you actually experienced Zach tasting beer for the first time in his life. What was the highlight for you? If you could pick one of them as kind of a highlight of the podcast, summer, summer uh, lightning, summer yes. lightning, followed by uh, the ghost ship yep. and then the dark star. Yep. I'm gonna say. Well, the rest of them kind of pale. Yeah, I, I will say the. I've hazy, forgotten half of them. I will say the hazy Jane did stand out to me just purely because of the kind of, kind of very potent that, mango smell. That was the one that, that had the very different look to it. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, I, I wanted know, I would, more from the sticky toffee pudding. I would probably yeah. say the summer lightning was I think my. The favorite. sticky toffee pudding really didn't yeah. deliver on it what it promised. It was an abomination. Summer lightning was the perfect kind of blend between. Yes. Okay. That's what beer is. That's so, what it should anyway, taste. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. There we have it. What have we learned? We've learned a lot about the taste of ales and yes. IPA. And probably, probably best to avoid the novelty, the novelty one. Yeah. stuff. <laughs> but yeah. I dare say, on further podcasts, we might come across some more novelty ones on the way. Yes, uh, because they need to be discovered. So, whose idea was this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't my idea. Anyway, so over that to you, was... Zach. <clears throat> so. There we have it for our beer tasting podcast number one. Well, episode four. It's episode four of the Now You Know show, but if you want any more beer tasting thingamabobs. I'd quite do that again. I I, I would actually enjoy doing a cider one. Or a whiskey. Even though it would be quite expensive. Or rum. (laughs) rum. Okay, so companies out there that do cider. Yeah. Bang those samples over to us. We'll review them. Same goes for the whiskey distilleries. And um, Chris Austin Wall, if you're listening, yeah. get in contact because we would like to... We would love to bring you in as a specialist when it comes to beer. To mm. Yeah, we're probably not really qualified to talk about the no. taste of beer, but we <laughs> yeah. did it. But we had fun. Yes. That was a fun experience. Okay, your first um, beer experience of your I'm, life. I'm not really yeah. thinking about <laughs> copying that in, in the future. Okay, let's wind this one okay. up. Okay, so <laughs> we've learned about beer. That was fun. Okay. Just about. We have another Japanese snack box um, thingamabob on the way. Podcast. Podcast, that's it. Coming in the future. So, if you enjoyed this podcast, please like and subscribe to this channel and comment below any suggestions for topics or activities you'd like to listen to in future episodes. Right, it's chucking out time. So yes. that's goodbye from Buzz. Goodbye from Jack. Thank you very much for listening. And goodbye from Scottish Zach. <laughs> and now you can go to the gents. Yes, Off I really, really need a wee. Go, go, go. <laughs> goodbye, everyone. Thank See you in the uh, next podcast. Uh-huh. Come on, okay. Elvis. Off you go. <laughs> yeah, go. Thank you very much for listening to this podcast. And go, Jack. We'll see you in the next Get to the gents. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You've been stars. <laughs>